Chapter 581 Once more battling Yun Wusheng translator. Born to be Long Chen's words contained boundless killing intent, and they shocked everyone present. Long Chen was actually proposing a death match with Yun Wusheng. That was different from before. Before, Yun Wusheng had been worried Long Chen would refuse to fight him, and that was the reason he was willing to ruin his reputation. He had wanted to use a hostage to force the fight. To experts, reputation was nonsense. In front of absolute strength, reputation was the cry of the weak. The martial path was one of competition, and only the winner was the king. No one cared about the process, only the result. That was the only reason Yun Wusheng would use such contemptible methods despite his status. But now, Mu Zhu had been saved by Zi Yan. There was nothing he could threaten Long Chen with. However, Long Chen had still challenged Yun Wusheng, a powerful celestial, to a battle. In other words, Long Chen had taken the initiative to challenge Yun Wusheng. That was a completely different concept from before when Yun Wusheng had been worried Long Chen would refuse to battle him. Long Chen was planning on killing Yun Wusheng. Long Chen, don't be impetuous. The cry of the heavenly deos will form an absolute suppression against you. You have no chance of winning, said Mo Yunshan. His old man really had been correct. Long Chen was too domineering, doing whatever he wanted without regard to the conclusion. Despite knowing it was a trap, despite the problem already being resolved, he actually took the initiative to jump in. That was folly. Ha 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 ha. Good. Good. Long Chen, you have gods. Then let's have a life and death battle. Let me see just how much you've grown during this time for you to become this brave. Yin Wusheng laughed and began to walk forward. This sudden turn of events shocked everyone. Originally, they had assumed that this matter would end here because of the immortal intoxication pavilions Zi Yan. But now it was a complete reversal. This Long Chen truly is powerful, and he can fight across realms easily. But does he really think that that's enough for him to challenge a celestial? Then he has gravely mistaken, sighed an elderly man in the crowd. He obviously didn't think Long Chen had any chance of winning. If Long Chen was also a celestial, then that would be another matter. But it was as Mo Yunchen said, Long Chen would be suppressed by the cry of the heavenly deos. Under that suppression, anyone in the same realm and even those in the realm above would be crushed by the celestial. That was the terror of celestials. Previously, when Long Chen had killed Wang Yishan with one attack, that was nothing more than coincidence. Risking his life to take a life. He had relied on nothing more than his own life-preserving measures. But in front of a celestial, such tricks were far from enough. So no one present thought Long Chen would win. Long Chen, Mo Nian said nervously. Mo Nian, my temperament isn't the same as yours. The path I walk is different from yours. I know what I'm doing. This is my Dao. Yin Wusheng has gone too far. Humiliating my friend and killing my brothers. Today, of the two of us, only one can leave this place alive. You don't need to try and change my mind. Today, we'll see which one of us has a hardier life. Long Chen stopped Mo Nian and began walking towards Yun Wusheng. Mo Nian still wanted to say more, but he was stopped by Mo Yunshan. Zi Yan looked at Long Chen, also wanting to say something, but in the end, she held it back and also retreated along with Mo Yunshan and the others. That middle-aged man also led his Xianchen experts back with him. This region was left to Yun Wusheng and Long Chen. Everything within dozens of miles of the hidden dragon abode became silent. The only ones left were Long Chen and Yun Wusheng who were staring at each other. Long Chen, are you aware? Originally, I should have long since gone to kill you. However, because of some trifling matters, your death ended up being delayed. Otherwise, you would have already died, said Yun Wusheng. It should be because you were busy planning your cooperation with the power targeting the Mo family, correct? It seems they want to draw you into their camp as well working with the Yun family to crush the Mo family. However, it seems your current actions are part of your own last-minute plan. Most likely, you found that your cooperation wasn't favorable enough, and you weren't able to wait long enough. That must be why you used such shameless methods to draw me out, said Long Chen. Yun Wusheng narrowed his eyes, slightly shocked. I didn't think you would know so much. It seems the Mo family is also busy investigating this matter. Yin Wusheng had concluded that it was the Mo family who had told this to Long Chen. Long Chen was entirely correct. As soon as he had heard Long Chen had appeared in King Prefecture, he had rushed over. However, he had been drawn into another plot. There was a strong power that was preparing to target the Mo family. The high-level members of the Yun family had told Yin Wusheng to postpone his plans. However, it had taken too long for both parties to negotiate their cooperation, and Yun Wusheng had run out of patience. 
Thus, there was this trap today. However, there's one thing that you're wrong about. The reason I have to kill you is because I'm about to advance. Right now, I've reached the peak of the third heaven stage of Meridian opening. I'm preparing to attack the fourth heaven stage. You might not be aware, but celestials are different from ordinary cultivators. We require a flawless Deo heart. Only then can we perfectly merge with the heavenly Deos. But previously, you managed to escape from my clutches. That left a stain on my heart. Although it is just a small stain and I'm only advancing a minor realm. For insurance, I've still decided to kill you before advancing. Not letting my Deo heart receive the smallest imperfection. The current me is still the old me. But if I advanced to the mid-meridian opening realm, my strength would explosively grow. And at that time, even killing you would be unable to wash away the stain in my heart. That stain might affect my future. So sorry, but today, you must definitely die, said Yun Wusheng. The millions of experts spectating were all startled. It seemed Long Chen had already fought with Yun Wusheng, and Long Chen had managed to escape. Yun Wusheng, do you still remember what I said to you before? Asked Long Chen lightly. Unfortunately, I really am not in the habit of remembering other people's words. Yun Wusheng shook his head. In the Zhuangshan Super Monastery, I told you that with Han Shian Iu's death, the enmity between myself and the Yun family was over. But if you dared meddle with me again, I would personally exterminate your Yun family. Now, you've really done well. Not only did you try and kill me, but you even took your anger out on the innocent, causing them to lose their lives. The enmity between us has already reached the point where only one of us can live. So whether or not it's sincere, don't apologize. I won't accept it. And furthermore, when I destroy your Yun family, I also won't apologize. Long Chen looked at Yun Wusheng calmly, but behind that calm was a terrifying killing intent. Hearing this, those spectators burst into a clamor. Exterminate an ancient family? Had Long Chen gone crazy? Ancient families had an inheritance that stretched back for countless years. They were huge existences with powerful foundations. Let alone Long Chen. Even another ancient family wouldn't dare say such a thing. Ha ha ha. Even at this time, you still like to boast. However, I've already gotten tired of it. You can die now. Yin Wusheng suddenly roared, his voice shaking the sky like thunder. He extended a hand, and the void trembled. People were horrified to see countless palms emerge from his hand, and they filled all of heaven and earth. A terrifying pressure arose, seeming to want to crush Long Chen to dust. As soon as he attacked, he used such a terrifying attack. That one attack caused every Xi'anshan expert here to be horrified. This attack had sealed every direction. There was nowhere to run. Most horrifying of all, these palm images were not just illusions, but solid bodies. Then let's see just who will die today. Long Chen felt no fear in the face of those palms. With an icy snort, he punched, and a thunderous explosion rang out that caused heaven and earth to tremble. Boom. The palm images disappeared. Long Chen's fist had collided with Yun Wusheng's palm. The ground quivered. After Long Chen's fist blocked Yun Wusheng's palm, Yun Wusheng smiled coldly and caught hold of Long Chen's fist. You still haven't improved at all. Die. Yun Wusheng's aura completely erupted, and astral wind surged, causing everyone's expressions to change. The ground suddenly exploded, and a terrifying key wave spread from the two of them. The hidden dragon abode was the first casualty. It was instantly blown to bits. What a terrifying aura. This is the power of a celestial. That Long Chen is also terrifying. He managed to block it. Those distant spectators were horrified. As Yun Wusheng's aura was released, Long Chen's aura also gradually grew. It was like two dragons were racing to pierce out of the clouds. However, no matter how Yun Wusheng tried, the two of them were still tied. He was unable to suppress Long Chen. As their auras crazily climbed, terrifying astral winds raged, instantly reaching the spectators. Not good. They hastily retreated but there were some who didn't react fast enough. They could only circulate their key to defend, but they were still sent flying by those gusts. Heaven and Earth seemed to have become a maelstrom. As their auras increased, those astral winds only grew stronger. Boom. Long Chen and Yun Wusheng were both blown back by their opponent's strength, but they had only just touched the ground when they once more shot towards each other. A blood-colored rune appeared on Yun Wusheng's forehead. As soon as that rune appeared, Everyone present felt like they were unable to breathe, and they felt as if their blood had turned sluggish. Bloodline suppression. People let out startled cries and fled even further away. They couldn't help being horrified. Even this far away, Yin Wusheng's bloodline suppression was still able to have such a terrifying effect.
then just how much pressure was Long Chen under? After summoning his bloodline power, Yin Wusheng's aura once more grew, causing heaven and earth to shudder. At the same time, a sword appeared in his hand, and he had already leaked into the air, viciously slashing it down on Long Chen. It looked as if even space was being torn apart by this slash. Pressure erupted in all directions. Suddenly, a blood-colored light shone, and a blood-red saber emitted a cry like a beast awakening, meeting Yun Wusheng's sword. Chapter 582 Undefeatable Dao Translator Born to be the sound of metal clashing erupted. Everyone's expressions changed, as this sound was too resounding and many people's eardrums broke, making it so they were unable to hear anything further. The blood-colored saber blocked Yun Wusheng's sword, but the ground was unable to resist their power, and it sank. The original hidden dragon abode had already completely disappeared without a trace. Everyone was shocked by this scene. This was practically a world-shaking battle. Do you still need your testing blows? Bring out your full strength. Long Chen icily stared at Yun Wusheng, filled with overflowing battle intent. What? Everyone's hearts pounded. Such a terrifying exchange was just a testing blow? Dad, will Long Chen be alright? Asked Mo Nian worriedly. Mo Yunchen sighed. None of us understand Long Chen. I feel like even your grandfather has misjudged him. Long Chen isn't truly impetuous. In truth, he sees everything completely clearly. He has a reason for each one of his actions. Perhaps it is as Long Chen said, and this is just his Dao. Any obstacles in his path have to be destroyed. He refuses to walk around an obstacle, let alone using a cheap trick to fix it. This world's myriad of Daos are all the same in a way. There is no major or minor. However, Long Chen has chosen the Dao that is the hardest to walk. That's because he has chosen the undefeatable Dao. What is the undefeatable Dao? Mo Nian couldn't help asking. I'm also not clear about the details. All I've heard is that there is a kind of person who will split his way through any mountains that impede him, slash apart any rivers that are in his way, and refuses to lower his head to any difficulties on his cultivation path. However, those that chose the undefeatable Dao, Mo Yunchen suddenly paused when he reached here. What happened to those who chose the undefeatable Dao? Asked Mo Nian. Mo Yunchen didn't reply. He didn't want to tell Mo Nian the answer. That answer was too cruel because the undefeatable Dao was a dead end. No one was able to walk it to the end. Those geniuses had all fallen. What Long Chen cultivates isn't exactly the undefeatable Dao. It seems he doesn't have a will inside him to contend for supremacy. His Dao is extremely curious. I've never heard of something like it. I'm unable to describe his Dao clearly. Zi Yan also sighed, looking at Long Chen with a complicated expression. Mo Yunchen and Mo Nian's hearts shook. Zi Yan might be young, and they were unable to see through her cultivation base due to some mysterious energy hiding it, but the natural Dao charm that came from her was something no one dared blaspheme. Furthermore, she came from a mysterious power. Her comprehension of the Dao far surpassed other people. Her words were very thought-provoking. Ha ha ha, good, you've gotten stronger. Only like this is it interesting. Don't worry, I won't be careless like last time. Yin Wusheng suddenly laughed and pointed his sword at Long Chen. Battle intent soaring off him. In my opinion, even if you aren't careless this time, the ending won't be that different. Today, the person to die will definitely be you. But since you don't want to take the initiative, I'll take it. Divine ring. Space trembled as a huge divine ring appeared behind Long Chen's back. It appeared like a red and orange rainbow. But between these two colors was a very indistinct color that separated the two. This faint yellow color was extremely light. And you wouldn't notice it unless you looked carefully. The instant the divine ring appeared, Long Chen's aura explosively grew, and boundless pressure spread. The void was constantly rumbling, and mud surged up. The rocks within the ground shot towards the spectators. Those distant spectators cried out in shock. The sharp whistling accompanying those stones made their hearts turn cold, and they hastily dodged. As for those that didn't have time to dodge, they could only forcefully receive it. As a result, countless people vomited blood and fainted. It had to be known that the people here that still dared to watch were all Xi'anshan experts. But even such experts were unable to even bear the aftermath of Long Chen releasing his aura. He's practically a monster. Mo Nian was dumbfounded. Was this the Long Chen he knew? Previously, when they had fought on the streets, Long Chen had also summoned his divine ring. But how come there was such a difference between now and then? With the divine ring behind him, Long Chen's long hair fluttered in the wind. His cold gaze was like a sharp blade and a majestic aura came from his body. His blood-red saber rested on his shoulder. He appeared like a god disdainfully looking down on the world. What? 
What battle skill is this? Even the usually calm Zi Yan was shocked. From that divine ring, she sensed an aura others were unable to sense. That was why she was filled with even more disbelief than anyone else. How could such a battle skill exist in this world? She could sense that after Long Chen summoned this divine ring, the world had changed. To be more specific, there was a change in the heavenly deos. Cry of the heavenly deos. Heaven and earth shook. Countless runes surged out like a tide, condensing in the sky and enveloping Yun Wusheng. Yun Wusheng had finally released his full strength. Heavenly Dao runes flickered around Yun Wusheng, and it was like the entire world was slanting towards him. The current him had clearly received the heaven's favor. Heavens, a divine ring to shake the world. The cry of the heavenly Daos. This is truly a monumental battle. Long Chen seemed to disdainfully look down on all with his divine ring behind him. On the other hand, Yun Wusheng seemed like a divine devil had possessed him, his aura shaking the clouds, countless runes revolving around him. With the support of the will of the heavenly deos, he was even more terrifying. Just feeling their auras made the spectators' hearts pound wildly as they were filled with reverence. Nyanur, pay close attention. Long Chen's strongest point isn't his martial might, but his will. Did you notice? In the face of the suppression of the heavenly deos, there isn't the slightest reverence in Long Chen's eyes. On the contrary, they are filled with disdain and ridicule. Becoming enemies with all of heaven and earth is called stupidity. But not every person has the qualifications to have that kind of stupidity. On the path of cultivation, people are like boats on a sea. There's no boat that will never sink. So cultivators do not need to take the long and broad view. Taking consideration of the big picture. If you aren't even able to fight the fight that's right in front of you, then that so-called retreating and fighting from a distance is just a joke. Now you understand your grandfather's intentions, right? Asked Mo Yunshin. Mo Nian's heart shook. Looking at Long Chen who seemed possessed by a battle god, he suddenly realized how much painstaking effort his father and grandfather had gone through for him. If a person didn't have a determination that would allow them to even fight against the heavens, then they would be unable to walk far on the path of cultivation. Many people were unafraid of life and death battles, but in the face of the heavenly deos, they chose to submit in the end. Mo Yi had treated him the way he had in hopes that he would one day understand that true experts weren't created because of their cultivation basis, but because they wouldn't give up in the face of any suppression. Even the heavens would be unable to make them submit. Only by reaching that point could your heart truly hold no fear, and only then were you a true expert. Dad, I understand. Mo Nian took a deep breath. He felt endless gratitude towards his father and grandfather. For him, the entire Mo family had poured in endless sweat and blood. However, it was impossible for others to teach him that. He had to understand it himself. Now he finally did. Previously, in the streets, Long Chen had cursed him for being cowardly, and he had taken his first step. Now seeing Long Chen's fearless display even in the face of the heavenly deo's suppression, Mo Nian was truly startled awake. Hearing Mo Yunchen and Mo Nian's words, Zi Yan and Yu Tong couldn't help but frown. Obviously, they didn't acknowledge Mo Yunchen's theory. Nian or you are also a celestial now. The heavenly deos will support you, but that is limited to only a portion of the heavenly deos. When you run into other celestials, the heavenly deos will not necessarily tilt towards your side. When the heavenly deos favor others, if you don't have a will to fight against the heavens, you will definitely die. That's because you'll feel like the heavenly deos have abandoned you. Celestials are called the favorites of heaven and earth, but in truth, the heavenly deos are emotionless. Otherwise, they wouldn't allow people to slaughter each other. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any fathers who would fight to the death with their sons. Mo Yunchen patted Mo Nian on the shoulder. Thank you, Dad. Your son understands. Mo Nian took a deep breath. Mo Yunchen's words made Zi Yan descend into silence. Looking at the two people staring at each other in the distance, it was unknown what she was thinking. The two of their auras were constantly clashing, causing space to twist. It was like two angry floods were constantly clashing. I didn't expect that your cultivation technique would actually just barely be able to resist my cry of the heavenly deos suppression. Good. Now it'll be more interesting. Yin Wusheng's battle intent was constantly rising. Now that Long Chen had advanced to meridian opening and his divine ring had become stronger, Yin Wusheng was unable to use the will of the heavenly deos to lock Long Chen down. That filled him with shock, but it also filled him with battle intent. Long Chen's strength had already surpassed his expectations. He had to kill Long Chen. Even if he couldn't obtain Long Chen's treasures, he needed him dead, or he might become a major problem in the future. 
Long Chen sneered at Yun Wusheng. Yun Wusheng, just how did you manage to be so shameless? Last time we fought, I was only at the peak of bone forging, but the final loser of that battle wasn't me, right? If Yun King hadn't rushed over, you'd have long since been turned into a corpse. Now, you still have the face to boast so shamelessly. Could it be that this is the pride of your ancient families? Long Chen was filled with disdain towards Yun Wusheng. He kept saying that he had been the one to flee, but never mentioned his own sorry state. The spectators all sucked in a cold gasp of air. This piece of news was too startling. If what Long Chen said was true, then he definitely had to be a monster. Bastard. I've already said that last time I was just careless. But you'll only be lucky that one time. You'll definitely die this time. Yun Wusheng roared furiously. That last battle had been his greatest disgrace. Long Chen's words had touched a nerve. Then let's see just who will definitely die. Buzz. Long Chen's saber transformed into a bloody wave that crashed towards Yun Wusheng. Chapter 583 Heaven's Wrath Translator. Born to be Long Chen snorted coldly and he was like a phantom. Appearing in front of Yun Wusheng in an instant. His blood-colored saber released a loud cry as it slashed down. This was just a simple slash. But with the support of the Divine Ring. It seemed like it could cut apart the whole world. His actions caused everyone's hearts to tremble. They were all cultivators, and there was not one of them who wasn't afraid of the will of the heavenly deos. That was a reverence that came from the depths of their souls. The instant Yun Wusheng had summoned the cry of the heavenly deos, every expert here, despite being separated by a hundred miles, still felt boundless pressure, and they even had an urge to kneel. But Long Chen was not the slightest bit discouraged in the face of the heavenly deos. On the contrary, his aura became more and more valiant. HMPH. Although you've gotten stronger, it still won't change your fate of being killed today. Yin Wusheng's sword became like the sun, its harsh light piercing into people's eyes. A berserk aura erupted. What? Yin Wusheng is capable of activating a Xianchen weapon. People let out startled cries. Wasn't it said that only Xianchen power could activate a Xianchen weapon? That's only for ordinary people. Celestials are the favorites of the heavens, and their blessing allows them to borrow the energy of the heavenly deos, transforming that energy into Xianchen power, explained an elder. This was the most ridiculous aspect of celestials. It was like you were on a racetrack with someone, but the judges were biased to one side, and they could change the rules at will. Just how would you compete with them? That was what Yun Wushan was doing by activating a Xianchen weapon. Although he could only control some Xianchen power, it was enough to activate the true power of the Xianchen weapon. Boom. The saber and sword clashed together, and the ear-piercing sound caused the world to shake. Die. The two of them both roared at the same time, pouring all their power into their weapons, wanting to send their opponent flying. This was a fight for the initiative. In a battle of experts, each little bit had to be fought for. Every bit related to their life or death. Whoever was able to send their opponent flying would immediately take the superior position. It was very likely that under a continuous barrage, that person could kill their opponent without them ever having a chance to reverse the tides. As the two of them increased their strength, the divine ring behind Long Chen began to rapidly spin, and Yun Wusheng's heavenly Dao runes became turbulent. The entire space was growing contorted because of their strength, seeming like the end of the world. Heavens, just what kind of power is this? exclaimed a horrified late Xianchen expert. Although such a person was unable to compete with the top experts, he could still count as a big figure in King's House City. However, in front of these two clashing auras, he felt himself to be as minuscule as an ant. Either one of them could kill him without the slightest effort. If it was just Yun Wusheng who was capable of that, then fine. Celestials were peerless heavenly geniuses. No one would be unconvinced if they were suppressed by them. But Long Chen was different. He had no aura of the heavenly deos on him but he was still able to fight Yun Wusheng, and there was no sign he was at a disadvantage. All of them were horrified. Space was twisting around that sword and saber, and the ground was constantly trembling. They could almost sense the fury of the heavenly deos as they assisted Yun Wusheng to try and kill Long Chen. However, the divine ring behind Long Chen's back released an ancient and desolate aura that stubbornly resisted the will of the heavenly deos. Currently, Long Chen's eyes were icy and emotionless looking like a devil who had descended upon the world. Long Chen. Miu Zhu looked at Long Chen, pain filling her heart. She knew she had always misjudged Long Chen. The reason why Long Chen had refused to join the Miu Xu mercenary unit, the reason why he didn't want to get too close to them, was all because he was afraid of what was happening today. It wasn't that Long Chen was emotionless. 
but that he couldn't allow himself to feel so many emotions. That was because doing so would cost him a painful price. Since Zi Yan's arrival had changed the situation, the smartest option for Long Chen would have been to immediately leave. Even if he wanted to get revenge, he should have waited, doing his best to increase his strength as much as possible before settling the bill with Yun Wusheng. However, he wasn't able to wait. The deaths of the Muxu mercenary unit's warriors had caused him to become furious, to become crazy, and he wasn't even able to wait an extra second. Long Chen's pain was no less than what she felt. Thinking of those brothers who had died so tragically, Mu Zhu felt like needles were stabbing into her heart, and her tears streamed down. Boom. Both of their auras were still continuing to grow stronger. The ground trembled and the void rumbled. The originally sunny day was now covered by endless black clouds. Boundless pressure descended from the sky, causing everyone's expressions to change. Is this the wrath of the heavens? Looking at the endless black clouds in the sky, all of them trembled. In the face of the heavens' fury, no one would be unafraid. Mo Yanchen's expression also changed. Looking up at the black sky, he felt boundless pressure. That will could cause a person to despair. Furthermore, they were just at the edge. Long Chen was the main target. The pressure he must be under was unimaginable. Everyone was looking up at the sky with horror. Only Zi Yan and Yu Tong were still calmly looking at the two men fighting. Ha ha ha, Long Chen. Do you see this? This is my current strength. I can already bring down the wrath of the heavens. I really do have to thank you for that. Last time, it was only because of the fury you gave me that I was able to comprehend this new way to use the cry of the heavenly deos. To thank you, I'll let you experience what a celestial is, and what true strength is. Be suppressed. Yin Wusheng shouted coldly, and the void trembled. A formless energy crashed down on Long Chen. The ground beneath Long Chen's feet became covered with cracks. It appeared like an icy river that had received a heavy impact and countless web-like cracks spread. Long Chen's about to be defeated. He can't resist this power. People saw Long Chen had sunk into the inferior position. This Yun Wusheng is too terrifying. Not only does he have the support of the cry of the heavenly deos, but he can even invoke heavenly fury, borrowing the power of the heavenly deos to kill Long Chen. That's practically cheating. Some couldn't help sighing regretfully. Long Chen really is an idiot. Did he think that with just that little power he could challenge a celestial? Isn't that just asking to die? Maybe he's addicted to fame, sneered one person. Idiot. What fame? Do you want to try and get famous? In front of a celestial, you wouldn't even dare fart. But you still like to talk bullshit. Quite a few people immediately ganged up on him. That person really was an idiot. Here, all of them were ordinary cultivators. They felt envy towards celestials. But they also felt hate. The fact that Long Chen, someone who was an ordinary cultivator, was fighting a celestial made them feel like they were fighting as well. No matter how you put it, Long Chen was relying on his own power to tell everyone that celestials were not unrevealed. Whether he lived or died, he would leave behind a glorious battle achievement to fight a celestial in the same realm. Just who could manage to do that? So countless people immediately cursed this person. If they weren't busy paying attention to the battlefield, that person would probably have been beaten to death. With the tide-like power crashing down on Long Chen, his arms trembled slightly and the cracks on the ground grew even wider. Crap, Long Chen's about to be suppressed. Mo Nian's heart sank. Big sister, I'm begging you, please save Long Chen. I know you definitely have the strength to do so. Mu Zhu suddenly turned to beg for help from Zi Yan. She actually knelt down, unwilling to see Long Chen die. There's no need to be like that. Quick, get up. Zi Yan pulled Mu Zhu up. Big sister. Please, save him. Long Chen is a good person. I was the one who implicated him. If he dies, I wouldn't even have the courage to keep living. Mu Zhu choked back sobs. Of the Muxu mercenary unit's 20 plus members, seven had died in the first clash. There were also people who must have fallen while they were fleeing for their lives. Because everything had been too chaotic, she also didn't know how many of them were still alive. For Mu Zhu to lose this many of her close friends, if Long Chen also fell, she really would feel like she had no more reason to continue living. Seeing Mu Zhu's miserable expression, a bewildered light flashed over Zi Yan's eyes. She knew that the relationship between Long Chen and the Muxu mercenary unit was limited to just an accidental meeting on a mission. Originally, when Long Chen had still challenged Yun Wusheng to a battle after Mu Zhu had been saved, she had thought that Long Chen was just using her kidnapping as an excuse. Of everyone present, only she was able to sense Long Chen's terrifying power. 
Her impression of him was that he was a valiant and ruthless person, someone who felt that the lives of humans were as insignificant as blades of grass. Such people were very difficult to form friendly relationships with, but Mu Zhu made her aware of another side of Long Chen. Her cultivation method was special, and she was able to clearly grasp a person's emotions. With Mu Zhu's current cultivation base, there was no way she could fool her. Zi Yan could sense other people's emotions, easily seeing through their inner hearts, but Long Chen was the only exception. There was some kind of mysterious energy in him that caused her special abilities to fail. Mu Zhu's heartfelt words caused Zi Yan's heart to shake. If Long Chen really was an emotionless person, how could there be people who so sincerely cared about him? Could it be that Long Chen's challenge against Yun Wusheng wasn't because of his selfish desires, but because he truly wanted to get revenge for those ordinary mercenaries? Miss Mu Zhu, don't worry, Zi Yan gently consoled her, but she didn't say any more. Others were unaware of what she meant by don't worry, but Mu Zhu was delighted. In her opinion, Zi Yan was definitely an extremely amazing figure. If she said not to worry, then she really could let go of her worries. Mu Zhu was unaware that Zi Yan's don't worry wasn't because she would interfere, but because of something else. In the distance, the skinny middle-aged man was frowning slightly. It was unknown what he was thinking, but it seemed he didn't like the current situation. Boom. Long Chen was finally unable to bear Yun Wusheng's terrifying power. The ground beneath his feet crumbled, and he was sent flying back. A large ditch was cut into the ground. Everyone's hearts shook. Had Long Chen died just like this? Ha ha ha. Die. Buzz. Yun Wusheng's sword pointed to the sky, and an incomparably powerful ray of sword key slashed down on Long Chen. Chapter 584 Shocking Change Translator Born to be the sword key surged into the sky, seeming like it could cut through the river of stars. That terrifying attack didn't just contain Yun Wusheng's power, but also the destructive will of the heavenly deos that would make anyone despair. Boom. The sword fell, and the long ray of sword key shattered the ground. A gorge a hundred miles long appeared in front of everyone. What? When the dust scattered, people were so shocked that their jaws almost dropped to the ground. Long Chen was still standing at the front of the long gorge, and his blood-colored saber was blocking Yun Wusheng's sword without budging. His expression was as calm as water. It was still the same Long Chen, but his current aura made every one of them feel terror. Astral's wind surged out of the bottom of Long Chen's feet, forming a current around his body that soared into the clouds. Two stars had appeared in Long Chen's eyes, but they weren't the same as they were before. A faint shadow had appeared between them. It was also a star, but that star wasn't lit. Long Chen was currently unable to bring out the full three-star battle armor, because the Life Fate star had not reached perfection. But even so, the increase in his strength made him ecstatic. Yin Wusheng, you're still so senseless. It seems the lesson I gave you last time wasn't enough. If at that time you had used your full strength from the start, I would never have had a chance to flee. And now, you're still this conceited, refusing to reveal your full strength. This time, your attempt to probe my strength will be your downfall. Because from you, I know that the so-called celestials are not truly capable of bringing out the will of the heavenly deos. That's just a smokescreen, sneered Long Chen. You, what are you talking about? Yin Wusheng was shocked and infuriated. He hadn't expected Long Chen's power to have reached this level, and he was filled with panic. It wasn't just Yun Wusheng who was startled. Everyone was startled, especially by Long Chen's last line. Celestials were using a smoke screen? Those runes around you are not the world's runes, but runes you nourished within your body. Those are not true heavenly Dao runes. They are simply carriers. You use those runes to connect with the surrounding energy of the heavenly Deos, and through that close connection, you are able to borrow heaven and earth's power. Furthermore, the amount of power you can borrow is limited, and linking to the heavenly deos exhausts the energy of your core runes. Have you not noticed that your core runes are already no longer as stable as they were before? That's the best proof, said Long Chen coldly. Everyone looked towards Yun Wusheng, and people couldn't help letting out startled cries. He's right. When Yun Wusheng first summoned his runes, the runes were as stable as a mountain in the air, but now they're beginning to quiver. Is that from exhaustion? If that's true, then celestials aren't truly unrevealed. Once their core rune energy is exhausted, wouldn't they be the same as an ordinary cultivator? So that's how it is. As expected, the things in legends can't be trusted. Those legends of how celestials were protected by the heavens and had unending power as long as the heavens existed were just to dupe people. Long Chen's pretty amazing to be able to see through the truth of a celestial so quickly. Yin Wusheng's core runes are already starting to run out of energy. 
Doesn't that mean Long Chen has a shot at winning? The uproar from the crowd was immense, as they had never heard of ordinary cultivators fighting a celestial in the same realm. That was because no one was stupid enough to go challenge a celestial. HMPH. Not bad. Celestials truly do exhaust their core energy in order to connect with the energy of the heavenly deos. But so what? Do you really think my strength will begin to decline like this? Ha ha ha. You're too childish. I've still yet to chop you in half. My core energy is far vaster than you can imagine. Sneered Yun Wusheng. Oh, is that so? Then let me see just how vast your core energy is. It just so happens I want to familiarize myself with my new power. Buzz. Long Chen's saber shook, and countless blood-colored runes appeared out of it. With Long Chen pouring his energy into it, Blood Drinker also released its own power. Long Chen roared, his voice like thunder, stamping on the ground. The earth exploded and Long Chen shot forward like a bolt of lightning at Yun Wusheng. He wielded his saber with both hands as he mercilessly slashed it down. Boom. The ground crumbled as if a meteorite had descended from the heavens. A large wave spread through the ground. Yun Wusheng's body shook intensely. Long Chen's strength was too great, and it felt like a mountain had crashed into him, turning his arms numb. He had only just managed to block this first attack when Long Chen's second slash followed. His aura actually superimposed with the energy from the previous attack. Yun Wusheng hastily blocked and he was no longer able to keep his body stable. This time, he was forced back dozens of meters. Not good. Yin Wusheng immediately remembered that Long Chen seemed to possess a saber art that allowed him to superimpose his strength. Each slash of his saber superimposed with the energy of the previous slash. Once he managed to force back his opponent, his next attack would be even stronger. Long Chen's third slash didn't give Yin Wusheng any time to think. This slash seemed like it could cut apart the river of stars and separate all of heaven and earth. Boom. Yun Wusheng was sent flying like a shooting star, digging a mile-long ditch in the ground. Yun Wusheng was shocked and infuriated by Long Chen's terrifying growth rate. Last time, if he had been even slightly serious, he would have killed Long Chen. But just how much time had passed? Long Chen's strength had already reached the point that he was an even match for him. Not only was he infuriated, but he also felt fear. Heavenly Deo Suppression, Yin Wusheng roared furiously, and his runes multiplied, looking like an ocean that filled all the space within several miles, forming his own domain. Within this domain, he was the master. Unless his opponent was a celestial, anyone would be suppressed within this domain. Here, the power of his enemy's attacks would be halved, while his own attack power would double. That's a celestial's strongest technique, and it's almost the most shameless. I wonder if Long Chen can handle it. Amongst the spectators were countless geniuses who had their own pride, but in the face of the heavenly Deo domain, which was practically cheating, they could only helplessly sigh. Previously, Yin Wusheng had intentionally not used this domain, only using the will of the heavenly Deos to increase his own strength. However, now he was truly using his greatest killing technique. No one has the qualifications to use the same move against me twice. Long Chen sneered and directly pierced into Yin Wusheng's domain. In that instant, he felt some kind of indescribable restriction wrap around his body. Under my suppression, you still dare boast shamelessly. Go on and just die. Yin Wusheng shouted, his sword slashing down on Long Chen. The distant spectators could clearly see what was happening. Countless heavenly Deo runes instantly pasted themselves onto Yin Wusheng's sword when he attacked. That was the support of the heavenly Deos. As for Long Chen, he was surrounded by heavenly Deo runes. Those runes seemed like chains keeping him tightly bound. Berserk lightning possession. Boom. Suddenly, Long Chen's body became covered with violet lightning. It seemed like a lightning armor, and it released a loud rumbling sound. What? This scene caused everyone to let out startled cries because those lightning arcs surrounding Long Chen actually shattered the chain like runes wrapped around him. Yin Wusheng's pupils shrank. Those runes were his core runes and a celestial's greatest support. He had never heard of someone being capable of breaking them. Furthermore, he also vomited a mouthful of blood. The powerful attack he had been preparing to launch also caused a backlash. As his core runes, they were connected to his mind and soul. Their destruction was a powerful blow to him. Previously, when the lightning serpent had devoured that lightning monster in Long Chen's tribulation, it had fallen into slumber. It had only awoken yesterday, delighting Long Chen. Today, he saw it really was effective. His current thunder force was practically too strong. Furthermore, with the lightning serpent's growth, its spirit had also matured. It was the same as the earth flame, 
and it worked with Long Chen of its own accord. He didn't even need to use his spiritual key to control it. With just a thought, the lightning serpent would fight alongside him. Yin Wusheng suffered a powerful shock, but Long Chen was fine. His saber came slashing down on Yun Wusheng. With his mental state in a mess, Yun Wusheng's hasty block was unable to completely block Long Chen's saber. Despite rapidly retreating, the saber still cut through his shoulder, his blood spraying out. Heavens, Yun Wusheng is injured. Blood dyed half of Yun Wusheng's body. Blood drinker was too sharp, and this attack had almost cut off his arm. Long Chen is actually a lightning cultivator, but why is that lightning capable of resisting the heavenly Dao runes? Isn't that heaven defying? People were horrified. The mandate of the heavens could not be violated, and the heavenly deos could not be defied. But Long Chen used his own actions to tell everyone that anything was possible. Zi Yan, who had been calm previously, became completely shocked upon seeing the lightning on Long Chen's body. That's heavenly tribulation. Lightning. Zi Yan recognized that boundless destructive will within the lightning. It was clearly tribulation lightning, not ordinary lightning. Heavenly Tribulation Lightning truly was able to resist Heavenly Dao runes, but Heavenly Tribulation Lightning contained a boundless destructive will. How could it be subdued? That was absolutely impossible. But Long Chen was standing there with Thunder Force forming an armor around him. He seemed like a god of lightning, majestic yet berserk. Even Mo Yunchen and Mo Nian's hearts shook. Long Chen actually still had such a strong trump card. After injuring Yun Wusheng with one attack, Long Chen didn't stop. He had already arrived next to the shocked Yun Wusheng, but he had only just done that when his expression suddenly changed. He hastily dodged to the side. Suddenly, he felt an intense pain in his chest. PFFT. A black light pierced through Long Chen's chest and out his back, bringing with it a rain of blood. Chapter 585 Bloodthirsty Soul Seek Thorn Translator. Born to be what? Everyone let out a startled cry. That black ray had pierced through Long Chen's chest too suddenly. It was like that black light had simply appeared out of nowhere. There hadn't been the slightest warning. Long Chen lowered his head and looked at the hole in his chest. Blood wildly poured out, and a bone-chilling cold spread throughout his entire body. Long Chen, you truly are strong. However, you still aren't my match. Last time, I was careless and received a heavy injury, so I never got a chance to use this move. He, how is it? The taste of my bloodthirsty soul seek thorn is not bad, right? A 9-inch black thorn appeared in Yun Wusheng's hand. Ah, I forgot to tell you. This bloodthirsty soul seek thorn was refined from a Xi'anchen magical beast. The bloodthirsty hedgehog spikes. Once it pierces you, your blood will be like a river whose dam was destroyed. And all your blood will pour out until there's not one drop left in you. Long Chen, it really is regretful. But you've lost, said Yun Wusheng. Quite a few people's expressions changed upon hearing about the bloodthirsty hedgehog. Legend said that it was a species from ancient times. Each of its spikes was poisonous, and a small injury could even kill a Xi'anchen expert. However, the bloodthirsty hedgehog was essentially extinct. It was unexpected that Yun Wusheng would actually be able to refine its spikes into a weapon. Long Chen, due to your great deeds, today I'll let you taste the pain of 10,000 needles piercing your body. Suddenly, the void trembled around Yun Wusheng and tens of thousands of bloodthirsty soul seek thorns appeared around him. Heavens, this Yun Wusheng is too terrifying. With that many blood-seeking soul seek thorns, who could even fight him? Die, Yun Wusheng roared, and forming a hand seal, those tens of thousands of bloodthirsty soul seek thorns shot straight towards Long Chen, appearing like black lightning. Everyone was horrified. This attack was something none of them could block, but they saw that Long Chen's expression was still calm. It really is unexpected that you can use them like soul items. Long Chen really hadn't expected Yun Wusheng to possess such a move. At the same time, he realized just how lucky he had been to get away last time. However, this is still not enough to kill me. Space trembled and a fist-sized scale suddenly appeared in Long Chen's hand. As soon as that scale appeared, the space around it began to distort. The scale rapidly grew, becoming dozens of meters long, protecting Long Chen. Those tens of thousands of thorns ruthlessly smashed into the dragon scale, and in front of everyone's shocked gazes, the scale released a green light that completely destroyed all those bloodthirsty soul seek thorns. Impossible. Yin Wusheng was appalled. Those bloodthirsty soul seek thorns had been bitterly created by his family's master craftsmen. His seniors had spent endless blood to nourish them for them to have their current power. They were even able to threaten sea expansion experts Novaloon.com but in front of that scale. They were unable to endure a single blow. 
Not only did that make him startled and furious, but it also made him feel a kind of terror. The dragon scale shrank back down, revealing Long Chen's calm expression. No one was able to grasp what he was thinking inside. What made Yun Wusheng feel despair was the fact that the hole in Long Chen's chest had already fused back together. The injury inflicted by the bloodthirsty soul seek thorn had actually been healed? Do you still have any other ultimate abilities? Long Chen icily stared at Yun Wusheng, his voice completely emotionless. What is that scale? roared Yun Wusheng. Long Chen raised blood drinker and pointed it at the heavens. A cold sob air key suddenly soared, cutting apart the black clouds in the sky. Split the heavens. A mile long saber image appeared, seeming like a heavenly blade as it slashed down on Yun Wusheng. This attack's aura engulfed the entire world. In front of that saber, Yun Wusheng felt himself to be as minuscule as an ant. Bastard, don't think you've won just like this. Yun Wusheng roared with fury, and he crushed a talisman. Countless runes condensed in the space before him, forming an immense shield. This shield was 300 meters wide. The instant it appeared, even the world trembled. It's actually a talisman created by a sea expansion expert, cried someone. That talisman clearly had the aura of a sea expansion expert. Its defensive ability would be absolutely shocking. Boom. The saber image slashed down on the shield. Space trembled intensely, and a burst of light erupted where it struck the shield. Runes blew up into the sky. Yin Wusheng's talisman managed to block Long Chen's attack. However, the impact caused him to wildly vomit blood. He was filled with horror. It had to be known that this talisman had possessed 10% of the strength of a sea expansion expert, but it had been destroyed. Furthermore, he had sensed some strange energy in Long Chen's attack that caused his talisman to lose a portion of its defensive strength. It was extremely odd. Do you still have time to be distracted? I really admire your stupidity. The second attack is coming, said Long Chen with a touch of ridicule. At some unknown time, a foot-long ball of flames had appeared in Long Chen's hand. Space twisted around it as if it was about to be ignited. Earth flame, cried the spectators. Other than an earth flame, no other flame could possess such a berserk will. It practically seemed like it wanted to incinerate the heavens and vaporize the seas. Ao Wu, a large snow wolf appeared behind Long Chen. That snow wolf let out a heaven-shaking roar, and opening its mouth, a huge sphere of wind blades shot out. At the same time, Long Chen flung out his ball of flames. Little Snow's wind sphere instantly enveloped Long Chen's flame sphere. Little Snow had been constantly resting in Long Chen's spiritual space during this time. What shocked Long Chen was that after passing his tribulation, Little Snow's cultivation speed had multiplied, and he had already reached the late fifth rank. The fire and wind sphere rapidly grew, becoming a mile wide. This was many times larger than it had been before. One reason was that Little Snow's strength had grown so much greater while the other was that the earth flame had also been rapidly growing. The instant that wind and flame sphere merged, heaven and earth became silent. Yin Wusheng became filled with endless terror. He had already been locked down. Those distant spectators all turned numb. Just what kind of attack was this for its pressure to be so terrifying? If you don't want to die, then quickly run. Mo Yanchen suddenly roared, and pulling Mo Nian, he fled into the distance. Zi Yan hesitated a moment and she also pulled away a shocked Mu Zhu. At the same time, that skinny middle-aged man brought his people away as well. Seeing these top experts fleeing, the others hastily fled for their lives. That sphere caused them to feel endless terror. This distance was still not enough to protect them. Yin Wusheng's hair stood on end. He immediately recalled his miserable condition after receiving this attack last time. But now this attack's power had increased by ten times. He was filled with regret that he had forgotten to guard against this attack. Ancestral spirit, hear your descendants call. Lend me your strength. Ancient blood divine shield. Yin Wusheng placed his finger on his forehead, and a drop of his blood flew out, forming an image in the air around him. His expression was solemn and respectful. Following his chant, endless blood key erupted from his body. That blood key condensed into countless runes, which then tightly wrapped around him, forming a layer of armor. Furthermore, Outside that armor, his heavenly Dao runes once more condensed, forming an outer barrier. Boom. Yin Wusheng only just had time to create these two layers of defense when Long Chen's attack viciously smashed into his outer barrier. That immense force caused the entire world to violently shake. Some of those distant spectators stumbled and reeled, almost falling to the ground. They hastily looked back. Endless flames formed an immense mushroom cloud at the center of the battlefield. Terrifying wind blades and flames were rapidly spreading. Run. 
Terrified screams rang out because they realized those wind blades and flames were rapidly approaching them. With the previous warning, they had already begun running, and they were already over 200 miles from the battlefield. But looking at the current situation, it seemed they would still be devoured. Quite a few people felt like their souls were about to flee from their bodies in terror. If they were enveloped by those flames, then let alone their lives, they wouldn't be able to keep a single part of their corpses intact. From the center of the battlefield, waves of wind and flame spread in all directions like a tsunami. Several of the people fleeing were so scared that they began to cry for their parents. They had long since forgotten that they were high and mighty cultivators. All they knew was that they were about to lose their lives. A-H-H. Finally, there was someone who the wave of flames caught up to. However, he didn't die. He was merely almost burnt to a crisp. After traveling so far, the flame wave had already weakened enough. Many people only managed to keep their lives because of this. However, anyone who was enveloped by the flame wave had their clothes turned to ashes and their bodies chaired black. The smell of burning flesh came from them, and they appeared incredibly wretched. Only now did everyone get a chance to breathe, and they hastily looked back towards the battlefield. Their jaws involuntarily dropped. Chapter 586 slash after slash translator. Born to be originally, the surroundings of the hidden dragon abode had had some small lakes and some beautiful scenery. But now, all of it was gone. Everything within hundreds of miles was scorched earth. The ground had been turned to black rock. Steam still floated out, emitting a strange scent. At the center of the battlefield. Long Chen and Little Snow were still calmly standing there, not moving the entire time. Long Chen had already advanced to Meridian Opening, and he had also condensed the Life Fate Star. He was a completely different person from when he had first fought Yun Wusheng. Even after using this wind and flame attack, Long Chen still had the majority of the Earth Flame energy within him. So when his attack had erupted, he had used that energy to protect himself and Little Snow. Yun Wusheng was standing in front of Long Chen. However, it appeared as if his entire body had been turned to charcoal. In the end, those two layers of defense he had created had not been able to withstand Long Chen and Little Snow's combined attack. However, with them, he had just managed to keep his life. But his aura was now very weak. Long Chen sensed his remaining spiritual key, and he found that he had less than 20% left. The continuous battles and then having to face off against the Heavenly Deos had exhausted him greatly. However, 20% of his spiritual key was enough for him to do many things. Taking a breath, he rested blood drinker on his shoulder. Step, step, step. Long Chen walked over the scorched rock-like ground. That sound was like the overture of a death god. Yin Wusheng, back in the Zhuanshan Super Monastery, I once warned you that with Han Shian Iu's death, our enmity had come to an end. However, you didn't listen to me, and you even tried to kill me. Not only that, but you despicably used others to kidnap my friend, causing my brothers to die. Did you ever think that this would be your ending? Long Chen's voice resounded throughout the entire battlefield. Those tens of thousands of experts could all hear the killing intent and fury within it. Long Chen's saber slashed straight down on Yun Wusheng. Yun Wusheng's practically chaired hands lit up with runes, and he raised his sword to forcibly block it. In front of everyone's horrified gazes, Yun Wusheng's arm shattered, and his sword was sent flying into the distance. Long Chen, I don't believe you'll dare to kill me. Yun Wusheng tumbled back hundreds of meters and crawled up, shouting, If you kill me, my Yun family won't let you off. Even your Zhuanshan Super Monastery can't protect you. Not only you, but your friends and your parents will all be exterminated. Yun Wusheng was finally terrified. Long Chen's strength had surpassed his imagination. After that previous attack, his spiritual key had essentially hit rock bottom. Furthermore, he had used his essence blood to summon his ancestor's spirit. That secret technique was extremely taxing for him to use. However, in that situation, he had had no choice but to use his ancient blood divine shield. Yin Wusheng, it seems you still don't understand me. I never submit to any threats, nor do I fear any threats. If it had just been an enmity between the two of us, perhaps I could have spared your life. Unfortunately, you stretched your claws towards the people by my side. Reaching here. Long Chen's killing intent burst to a new high. You've touched my taboos. In your eyes, perhaps they were just some mercenaries. But in my eyes, they were my life and death comrades in arms. Let alone a disciple from an ancient family. Even if you were the son of a fucking god, I would still kill you today as vengeance for them. Long Chen's voice rang out like thunder, causing heaven and earth to rumble. That voice contained endless hatred and killing intent. Long Chen, you've gone crazy. 
Our Yun family's strength is not something you can understand. Are you not afraid of the Yun family's fury? With your strength, do you think your family can endure it? Yun King, who was standing beside the skinny middle-aged man, finally opened her mouth. She was finally afraid because it seemed Long Chen really wanted to kill Yun Wusheng. Furthermore, this middle-aged man didn't have any intention of interfering. That made her realize that this man's goal was to borrow the hands of the Yun family to attack the Mo family together. But Yun Wusheng was impatient because he was on the verge of breaking through. Furthermore, he had never wanted to join their battle. That didn't have the slightest benefit to the Yun family. His target was merely Long Chen. In the end, Yun Wusheng had decided to target Long Chen despite the middle-aged man's objections. However, that man had still decided to help him a bit. Now Yun King realized this middle-aged man was truly an old fox. Whether or not Yun Wusheng won, this battle would benefit him. If Long Chen lost, then when he was about to be killed, the Mo family would definitely interfere. Furthermore, with him present, the Mo family would definitely have to use their full strength. That would reveal the truth about the Mo family's current power. If Yun Wusheng lost, then he would just watch without lifting a finger. If Long Chen could kill Yun Wusheng, then it would be even better for him. That way, he would have succeeded in forming an enmity between the Mo family and the Yun family. Although Long Chen wasn't a member of the Mo family, he still received their support. The Mo family would definitely have to receive the Yun family's rage, and he would be the greatest beneficiary. Furthermore, he also had his own reason. Yun Wusheng and Long Chen had agreed to a life and death battle in front of this many people. With that many people watching, he couldn't interfere, or it would bring about their anger. Although the Yun family would also hate him in their hearts, that was a matter for the future. His only goal right now was to overturn the Mo family. Long Chen's saber once more fell. Yun Wusheng used his last strength to condense a runic shield in front of him, but that shield was shattered with a single blow. Yun Wusheng vomited blood and flew back. His new arms, which he had formed from heavenly Dao runes, once more shattered. While Yun Wusheng was still miserably flying back, Long Chen appeared beside him like a phantom his blood-colored saber slashing out again. Blood splashed. The entire world seemed to move in slow motion as that saber cut him in two at the waist. Everyone was horrified. It was so quiet that you could hear a pin falling. Would a heavenly genius really die just like this? Heavenly Dao recovery. Countless runes appeared over Yun Wusheng's bisected body, merging them back together. What? Seeing that he was actually able to reconnect his body, everyone was dumbfounded. That was too inconceivable. This reaction was very normal, as even Long Chen had been shocked back then. Yun Wusheng's body had only just merged back when a yellow talisman appeared in his hand. That talisman released spatial fluctuations. It was clearly a teleportation talisman. This place was different from the Jiuli secret realm. Within the thousand major realms, there was a spatial suppression that made ordinary teleportation talismans useless. But Yun Wusheng's teleportation talisman was an extraordinarily precious thousand major world teleportation talisman. Although it could only teleport a few thousand miles, it was his last chance. However, as he crushed the talisman, a blood red saber severed his arm. That teleportation talisman merely teleported away his severed arm. The rest of Yun Wusheng remained. Long Chen's saber once more slashed towards Yun Wusheng's newly merged waist. PFFT. Heavenly Dao Recovery. PFFT, Heavenly Dao, PFFT, Heaven, PFFT. Every time Yun Wusheng used his Heavenly Dao energy to reconnect his body, Long Chen would slash down his saber. After three times, Yun Wusheng's core energy was gone, and he could no longer recover. He was filled with terror and panic. Long Chen rested his saber on his shoulder. Yun Wusheng was lying on the ground. Yun Wusheng, didn't you always like to look down on others from your high perch? Aren't you someone who views himself as a ruler that can dictate other people's lives? Don't you value the life of a human as little as a blade of grass? Now I see terror and panic in your eyes. How laughable. So you were always afraid to die? Then you should know just how much those people you killed also wished to live. When you ordered others to take their lives, did you once think of that? They had nothing to do with you. Why did you want them dead? If you had the ability, why didn't you just directly attack me? Why did you have to stretch your sinister claws towards the people by my side? Can you answer me? Long Chen pointed blood drinker at Yun Wusheng. His eyes were scarlet, and he seemed like a furious death god. Endless killing intent poured out from every inch of him. Long Chen, let me off. The differences between us can end here. I can compensate you with a great deal of resources ahh. 
Long Chen's saber stabbed into Yun Wusheng's chest, raising the upper half of his body into the air. He icily glared at him. Compensation? What are you going to bring out as compensation? Your life? Did you think your one rotten life was worth the same as the many lives of my brothers? Long Chen's veins were bulging, and his furious row rang out in everyone's ears. Mu Zhu shook and she tightly clenched her lips. She did her best to hold back her tears, but thinking of her brother's miserable deaths, they still escaped out of her control. I, I, Yin Wusheng's arms were destroyed, and all that was left of him was his upper body. Long Chen's saber had pierced through his body. He opened his mouth, but he didn't know what to say. It was because he knew that even if he begged for mercy, it wouldn't change Long Chen's determination to kill him. Don't you feel that your life is very valuable? Then let me tell you, I'll be using your head as an offering to my brother's heroic spirits, roared Long Chen. Ha ha ha, Yin Wusheng suddenly burst into a crazy laughter, disdainfully looking at Long Chen. Long Chen, I admit that I've lost, but if you really think you can take my head, you're very, very wrong. Bang. Suddenly, Yin Wusheng self-detonated. A cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Chapter 587 True Body Translator Born to be Yun Wusheng's self-detonation caused everyone to jump in shock. They were practically unable to believe their eyes. A celestial had actually been forced to self-detonate. Seeing the sky full of blood mist, all their hearts felt heavy. However, Long Chen smiled coldly and his hand was raised, pointing out a finger. You want to use your self-detonation to mask your soul escaping? You're too immature. Lightning finger. A bolt of lightning shot out of Long Chen's finger piercing through the blood mist to strike a transparent figure. That figure had almost completely merged into space. It was very difficult to notice it with the naked eye. That was Yun Wusheng's soul. Yun Wusheng had abandoned his physical body in hopes that his soul could escape. Unfortunately, he wasn't aware of just how abnormally powerful Long Chen's spiritual strength was. There was no chance he could escape Long Chen's senses. The very instant he had self-detonated, Long Chen had already seen through his intentions. Seeing that lightning arrow shoot straight at him, Yin Wusheng let out a roar of despair. Long Chen, just wait. I will definitely tear you apart limb by limb. Bang. The lightning arrow pierced through Yin Wusheng's soul, and his soul immediately exploded, filling the sky with runes. The world trembled when those runes appeared. The spectators all sighed with emotion upon seeing them. Those were Yin Wusheng's core runes. In other words, a celestial's core runes. Those runes were nourished inside the celestial's body and they were able to draw out the support of the heavenly deos. But once a celestial died, those runes would be absorbed by heaven and earth, forever disappearing from this world. Buzz. Just as those runes were about to disappear, the primal chaos beat in Long Chen's dantian suddenly began to rapidly circulate. Long Chen was startled, as he wasn't the one urging the primal chaos beat. It was acting on its own. But even after a while, it didn't seem like anything had happened. Long Chen. You actually killed my Yun family's junior master. You definitely won't have a good death. Yun King roared hysterically from a distance. Her expression was extremely contorted with hate. With Yun Wusheng's death, she would definitely receive a harsh punishment. Perhaps her life was also over. Originally, she had succeeded in seducing Yun Wusheng. She had hoped to rise within her family's hierarchy with his support. But now, everything was over for her. For a moment, the entire battlefield was silent. Within hundreds of miles, the only person was Long Chen, his blood red saber resting on his shoulder, his black hair fluttering in the wind. He gave off an indescribably domineering feeling. Long Chen was too lazy to bother with Yun King's furious roar. His only regret was that Yun Wusheng had self destructed, and his spatial ring had also been destroyed with him. Yun Wusheng was definitely rich beyond his imagination, but his spatial ring was also peak grade, and it contained his divine sense. When he had self-destructed, the spatial ring had also self-destructed with him. He hadn't left a single thing to Long Chen, so he was a bit vexed. However, at least he had released some of his sullen furies. With a celestial's life as a sacrifice, he trusted those fallen brothers would still be able to laugh within the Nine Springs. Long Chen, Mu Zhu ran over to him and wrapped her arms around him, sobbing. At this point, the others also came back to the battlefield. Zi Yan stared at Long Chen. That person is dead, and you've avenged your enmity. But is your heart really at peace? Long Chen gently patted Mu Zhu before turning to Zi Yan. Miss Zi Yan, the two of us are people in two different worlds. Don't use your grand and aloof eyes to evaluate my actions in the mundane world. You are not me, and I am not you. Can you say what my heart feels? 
I don't care if my actions are right or wrong. All I want is to have a clear conscience, which I have. Miss Zi Yan, I owe you a favor. If I have a chance in the future, I will definitely repay it. But I'd ask you not to argue with me about this kind of subject. I, Long Chen, am a vulgar and coarse person of the mundane world, and my temperament isn't so good. I can easily say something rude to you, and that wouldn't be good for either of us. As soon as he heard Zi Yan's words, Long Chen's temper flared. She wasn't him. She hadn't been chased down like a dog by Yun Wusheng. She hadn't had that many hot-blooded brothers be killed. Of course, it was easy for her to judge him. But no matter how he put it, if it hadn't been for Zi Yan, Miu Zhu would still be in Yun Wusheng's hands. Then Long Chen wouldn't have been able to fight him with his full strength. Furthermore, even if he could have defeated Yun Wusheng, he wouldn't have been able to kill him. It could be said that Long Chen truly owed Zi Yan a great debt, and so he didn't want to taint their amicability. Otherwise, Long Chen had 10,000 ways to retort to Zi Yan. Well, most likely, over 9,990 of those would involve cursing. Long Chen was no upright gentleman, nor was he some Daoist scholar. When he was in a temper, his words weren't always polite. It was all too likely for him to say something offensive. Zi Yan nodded. Then I won't disturb you any longer. If you have free time, you can come to my immortal intoxication pavilion. I'll definitely treat you. Long Chen cupped his hands. Many thanks for your hospitality. If I have time, I'll definitely go. No matter what, Zi Yan had helped him a great deal. He had to at least say something courteous. Hypocrite. Yu Tong muttered. Zi Yan gently bumped her arm to get her to stay quiet. Seeing Long Chen's slightly awkward expression, Zi Yan said, I'll take my leave now. But I should tell you that Yun Wusheng isn't truly dead. What you killed is merely his clone. After saying that, she and Yu Tong left. But her final words shocked everyone. Clone. Long Chen's heart shook. How was that possible? Long Chen. Well done. Truly well done. Ha ha ha. The middle-aged man walked over with his people. That really was a world-shaking battle. Marvelous. Truly marvelous. Long Chen looked at that man. There was an unconcealable smile on his face. Obviously. He was the greatest winner of this battle. Your smile is really slutty. It's even sluttier than those prostitutes. The heavens really were blind to allow a person like you to cultivate. I really can't understand why you didn't just go prostitute yourself from the beginning. Why bother cultivating? The goal of cultivation is to get stronger. Why would you get stronger first and then prostitute yourself? You city people really are fun, said Long Chen. The middle-aged man's expression sank and the dozens of experts behind him prepared themselves to fight at any moment. Let it go. Who do you think you're trying to scare? You cowards. Don't bother acting. If you really had the gods, you would have already taken action last time, said Mo Nian. Long Chen, let's go. Your brother will hold a great celebration for you. You really were too bad as today. Now I feel like the pressure is even stronger. With your current growth rate, after 20 more years of bitter cultivation, You'll probably be able to get halfway to my level. Mo Nian patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Long Chen looked at him disdainfully. Even if I bitterly cultivated for a lifetime, I probably wouldn't be able to reach the realm your skin has reached. Ha ha ha. At some unknown time, Liu Zongying had also arrived. Hearing their words, she couldn't help laughing. Long Chen, it's unexpected for you to be this powerful. Now I'm almost regretful that I'm engaged to Mo Nian, she said. Long Chen's scalp turned numb upon being stared at by Liu Zongying. Such a manly woman wasn't someone just anyone could enjoy. It was best for her to stay with Mo Nian. Haha, <laughs> I have no objections Aya. Mo Nian let out a miserable cry as Liu Zongying grabbed his neck, glaring at him. Bastard, am I that lacking? You want to kick me out? Give up any thoughts of that. Even if you rot, you'll still have to rot in my hands. That's your fate. Understand. I, I, Mo Nian turned purple. Unable to say anything. Junior sister Liu, if you continue like this, your fiancé will choke. Even Long Chen's heart clenched. This was too violent, wasn't it? It's fine. Mo Nian's been choked for so many years. He has greater resistance than anyone else. Let's go back now. Mo Yunchen pulled on Long Chen, bringing him back to the city. Now, even Long Chen agreed with Mo Nian that Mo Yunchen wasn't his father. It seemed he didn't really care about his son's life or death. It was a good thing Liu Zongying was only doing a demonstration. Now that Long Chen had left, she released Mo Nian. However, she still tightly wrapped her arm around his, not letting him leave. The middle-aged man hesitated, but in the end, he held back, allowing them to go. 
Yun King was left standing alone. It was only after a while that she reacted. Even as a member of the Yun family, she hadn't been aware that Yun Wusheng had a clone. Now, she went wild with joy and quickly rushed into the city, borrowing King Hao City's transportation formations to return to the Yun family. The Yun family was far from King Prefecture. They were separated by two prefectures, and they were situated within a mountain range. They occupied a space of almost 3,000 miles. There were thousands of mountains in their territory, and clouds curled around them. The spiritual key here was extremely abundant. This was the Yun family's ancestral lands. From an aerial view, it could be seen that these mountains formed a huge formation that enveloped the entire land. Once such an enormous formation was activated, then even sea expansion experts wouldn't be able to barge their way in. However, such an enormous formation exhausted plenty of spirit stones just to maintain. Not only was it a defensive formation, but it was also an immense spirit gathering formation, providing the Yun family with a dense concentration of heaven and earth spiritual key. Boom. A small mountain within the Yun family exploded. The treasures, resources, and exquisite buildings on it were all blown to bits. Long Chen, if I don't tear you apart piece by piece, I won't be called Yun Wusheng. This furious roar shook the heavens. Yun Wusheng was standing in the ruins of the mountain his expression incomparably sinister, his eyes red, and endless killing intent surging out of him. This was Yun Wusheng's true body. His furious roar immediately startled the entire Yun family. Chapter 588 Zi Yan's Thoughts Translator Born to be big sister, what do you think? Is Long Chen one of those legendary? Once they had returned to the immortal intoxication pavilion, Yu Tong and Zi Yan were staring at the scenery outside the window. It was Yu Tong who was asking Zi Yan. Yu Tong don't say it, shouted Zi Yan. Sister, you can't say that word. Our cultivation is different from other people's. We are close to the heavenly deos, and we are also easily sensed by the heavenly deos. If you say it and it's true, you'll immediately receive a backlash from the heavenly deos and be wiped out of existence, said Zi Yan solemnly. So you also suspect it, asked Yu Tong. Zi Yan sighed. She pulled off her veil. Her expression was very complicated. If he's not that legendary existence, how could he have such combat abilities? How could he resist the will of the heavenly deos? Most terrifying of all, he was even able to make heavenly tribulation lightning submit to him. If he wasn't that kind of existence, how could he dare insult the heavenly deos? If he is that existence, then he isn't my devil star. Such people will bring about unmatched heavenly tribulations each time they advance. Furthermore, as his cultivation base advances, the more intense the tribulation will be, all the way until he is exterminated beneath the heavenly deos. The two of them sank into silence for a while before Yu Tong sighed. That really is regretful. Long Chen is unafraid of heaven or earth, someone who cares deeply about relationships. Although his deo is contrary to our deo, he still is admirable. Zi Yan felt a complicated feeling. At the beginning, she had thought Long Chen was her devil star and would affect her entire life. So she had started paying more attention to him. After learning of his background, she had felt that Long Chen had received too much torment as a child, which had led to his heart becoming embittered. She had hoped that she could guide him onto the correct path. Then she wouldn't need to kill him. But now she was sure Long Chen was that legendary existence. He was fated to die beneath heavenly tribulation. He had nothing to do with her anymore. That kind of result didn't make her relax. Instead, it made her a bit disappointed. She felt it was too much for the heavens to treat such a person like this. Long Chen had suffered so much as a child. He had finally soared, but it was destined for him to die to the heavenly deos. That was too pitiless. Don't overthink it. Counting the days, our training experience this time is about over, and we'll be returning to the immortal palace soon. We'll have nothing to do with this secular world, comforted Zi Yan. Although she said this to comfort Yu Tong, she was also comforting herself. Just like Long Chen had said, the two of them were in different worlds. Long Chen returned Little Snow back to his spiritual space. Although this revealed that he was a dabbler beast tamer, it was better than leaving Little Snow outside. Little Snow's aura was extremely berserk and chaotic. It was different from any other magical beasts, which made it too conspicuous. Little Snow's mutation shocked Long Chen. Although Little Snow was only at the late fifth rank, equivalent to the human race's meridian opening realm. He was strong enough to easily kill any Xi'anshan experts. That kind of strength had broken the rules of the cultivation world. So Long Chen preferred to keep Little Snow's strength as hidden as possible. After returning to Mogate, 
Long Chen and Mu Zhu were pleasantly surprised to see that other than Zhang Wu, nine other members of the Mu Xu mercenary unit had gathered here, because the ambush had been too chaotic back then, and everyone had known staying was just sending themselves to their deaths. They had all rushed to report the news to Long Chen. Furthermore, their opponent's target had been Mu Zhu, that had allowed the others to escape with their lives. The two women were amongst the surviving members. When explaining what had happened, the two of them burst into tears. They were the ones who had been focused the most at the beginning. But as a result, several of their brothers had protected them with their lives, buying precious time for them to escape. Now that they were gathered again, they couldn't help sobbing. The people who had died were their family, the people they had been closest with throughout these years. Those kinds of feelings were something outsiders were unable to understand. Even Mo Yunchen and the others were moved by their plight. Although they were just mercenaries who lived on the bottom levels of the cultivation world, their emotions were the most sincere. Within this sinister world filled with schemes and strife, such pure emotions were too rare. After they cried for a while, Mu Zhu told them about how Long Chen had killed the experts of the Three Great Powers and fought Yun Wusheng. Hearing the Three Great Powers masters and Yun Wusheng had been killed, their hatred lessened slightly. There were few cultivators who ever managed to get a good ending. With the revenge Long Chen had gotten for them, they trusted that their fallen brothers would be comforted within the springs below. While they were talking, a group of experts from the Mo family walked over. Their bodies were covered in blood, giving Mu Zhu and the others a fright. Long Chen recognized the leader of that group as it was Mo Nian's uncle. He asked, Did you go plundering? Ha ha ha. Mo Nian's uncle laughed. Brat, you really have some smarts. You got it right in one guess. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see your battle with Yun Wusheng, or you definitely would have heard my cheering. From their current conditions, Long Chen could easily guess that after he had killed Luo Yingsheng, Wang Yishen, and all the other experts, the Mo family's people had directly gone to ransack their headquarters. With the three masters dead, the other experts had fled. If the Mo family didn't take this opportunity, then the three powers would have either splintered from inner struggles or been devoured by other powers. If the Mo family really wasn't able to see that, then they would have long since been destroyed by others. So just looking at their conditions, Long Chen could tell what had happened. Leader Mu Zhu, King Prefecture is in a chaotic state. If you aren't unwilling, you should stay with my Mo family, said Mo Nian. Mu Zhu was startled, not knowing how to reply. She looked at Long Chen who said, Leader Mu Zhu, you're overthinking it. The Mo family doesn't have any thoughts of tricking you. This time, our unit received a heavy blow, and the current state outside here is very turbulent. Staying with the Mo family is just temporary. Once the storm passes, we still have to completely revamp the entire unit, making the Muxu mercenary unit a legend in King Prefecture's mercenary world. To do otherwise would be unworthy of those fallen brothers. Long Chen's words were extremely comforting to them. Furthermore, he called himself a member of the unit, making them extremely emotional. Long Chen would always be a member of the Muxu mercenary unit. Furthermore, for those fallen brothers, he had not hesitated to challenge Yun Wusheng to a bloody battle to the death, becoming mortal enemies with an ancient family, that made them incomparably moved. Long Chen was still the same Long Chen, the one who had eaten with them, slept with them, and who liked to talk and joke around with them. All right, the dead are already gone. As cultivators, the only way we can make it up to those who fell is to live even more brilliantly than before. Come, today we got our vengeance and we should be celebrating. The wine's already set up. And, he, I spent a bit of money to buy photographic jades of Long Chen and Yun Wusheng's battle. We can all experience it together. Haha, <laughs> said Mo Nian's uncle, bringing them into Mo Gate. A feast had long since been prepared. Mo Yi was already sitting at the front, seeing Long Chen. He beckoned. Come, sit beside me. Long Chen hastily went over. Mo Yi patted him on the shoulder so hard that he shook. Nice, nice. This is how a real man should be. Long Chen was about to say some modest words when Mo Nian interrupted. Old man, what are you talking about? I'm your flesh and blood grandson. Are you praising him to piss me off? Mo Yi glared at him. If your blood wasn't proof that you had my Mo family's bloodline, I really wouldn't believe you were my grandson. If you had half the daring of Long Chen, what would I still have to be so worried about? Get over here. You want to hit me? You must think I'm stupid. I'm not going over. Mo Nian found a seat further away for himself. Bastard, you're this childish. Mo Yi's expression sank. Hurry up and go over. Don't make grandpa mad. Liu Zongying pulled Mo Nian over. Only then did Mo Nian sit beside his grandpa. 
quivering the entire time, prepared to defend at any moment. Nyanur, the current you is not bad. I can sense your aura is different from before. In truth, you are also a good child. However, your grandpa's teaching methods weren't suitable, causing you to suffer for nothing without understanding the true essence of what a martial artist is. Mo Yi looked at Mo Nyan, his solemn face becoming a bit doting. That was an expression Mo Nyan had never seen on him. Grandfather, Mo Nyan's heart soured. In truth, his grandfather had always loved him. Nyanur, your display today was very good. You dared to fight alongside Long Chen, to use your own body to protect your brother. I'm very happy. However, you are different from Long Chen. Each of Long Chen's steps is over a field of thorns, and each of his steps is filled with blood. That's why his Dao heart is more stable than yours. As for your grandfather and father, although we were ruthless, we weren't ruthless enough to truly have you risk death. We were unable to make you truly feel the danger of death. So your temperament is also because of us. You should thank Long Chen and yourself for the things you comprehended today. So this wine, which is my own personal wine, is something I prepared not only for Long Chen, but also for you. Starting today, you are no longer a child, but a true man of our Mo family. Mo Yi patted Mo Nian on the back, his face filled with pride. Mo Nian was also filled with emotion. Ever since he was a child, Mo Yi had always used his fists to speak to him. His words today made him feel incomparably warm. Grandfather, I definitely won't let you down, said Mo Nian. Ha ha ha, I know. I trust that you and Long Chen will grow to a point that everyone in this world will have to look up to both of you. Come, let Grandpa offer you a toast. Although your current selves don't have the qualifications for that, I trust that in less than a decade, you'll have much greater achievements than me. According to the cultivation world's practices, it seems that at that time, I might have to call you too senior. Ha ha ha. Cheers. Mo Yi raised his bronze wine cup high into the air. Long Chen and Mo Nian also hastily raised their cups, respectfully clinking them against the bottom of Mo Yi's cup. According to normal wine drinking customs, when two people touched cups, the person whose status was lower than the other would touch their cup below the top of the cup. Touching the middle would be for when the other person's status was similar to an uncle. But when touching cups with someone on the seniority of your grandfather, you could only touch the bottom of the cup, because if you went any lower, you wouldn't be able to touch it at all. Mo Yi was extremely happy today. Long Chen and Mo Nian accompanied him on his left and right, and the other seniors of the Mo family were also present, making the atmosphere extremely lively. They watched photographic jades of Long Chen's battle with Yun Wusheng. Even after they had seen it, watching it again still made their blood boil. That shocking, domineering, and mighty scene lingered in their memories. They drank late into the night before they all returned to their residences. Long Chen first helped the Muxu mercenary unit settle in and chatted with them for a bit. By the time he had returned to Mo Nian's residence, the sky had already brightened. Mo Nian was in a meditative state, cultivating. Long Chen slept on the bed for only a couple of hours before getting up. Saying he was going out to the Huaian auction house, he left for the center of the city. Chapter 589 Assassination Translator Born to be after Long Chen left Mo Gate, the people on the street who saw him immediately fled to the edges as if they had just seen a death god. Long Chen was startled at first, but then he realized that although many people hadn't seen the battle yesterday, there had definitely been quite a few people who had recorded the whole thing with photographic jades, perhaps in all of King's House City. There were only a few who didn't know who he was now. Long Chen couldn't help shaking his head, acting as if he didn't see these people. He continued forward. He might have killed Yun Wusheng, but he didn't feel the slightest joy. Yesterday, Liu Zongying had explained the secret of Yun Wusheng's clone. For ordinary experts, after they reached the Xianchen realm, they could condense a clone. For example, back in the righteous and corrupt battle of the 108th monastery, Ling Yunzi's clone had appeared. In reality, those kinds of clones were just spiritual clones. Using a secret art, he had condensed his spiritual strength into a clone. That clone would then be nourished for many years to make it stronger. However, it was not truly solid. It only possessed a tenth of the strength of the main body. Furthermore, if those kinds of clones encountered any powerful impacts that surpassed their limits, they would automatically explode. Such clones were only used as supplementary aid. Their actual use was very limited so most people didn't use them for anything. This spiritual clone was also known as a false clone, but Yun Wusheng's clone was known as a true clone. It was a solid body. The greatest advantage of those clones was that they were still connected to their master, 
but it was a physical body that was separate from the true body. Condensing such a true clone not only required an ocean's worth of resources, but it also required the true body to receive an extreme amount of pain. The pain of the soul and physical body being torn apart required an incomparably firm willpower. Otherwise, it was possible for someone to directly go crazy from the pain. Liu Zongying had also tried condensing such a clone, but she hadn't been able to endure it in the end and had given up on it. Such clones possessed around 60% of the true body's strength. For Yun Wusheng's clone to already possess such terrifying strength, it could be imagined just how powerful his true body was. However, experiencing that endless pain and exhausting all those resources wasn't for playing around. Because the clone and true body were connected spiritually, the true body could stay secluded and cultivate while the clone went around fighting and experiencing dangerous situations. What the clone experienced, the true body could also experience. So this way, the true body could stay in while still undergoing all kinds of tempering. Furthermore, Yin Wusheng was a celestial, and his clone had even possessed the ability to use the cry of the heavenly deos. That was because Yun Wusheng had poured in a portion of his core energy into the clone. That core energy could also grow and mature inside the clone through cultivation. Yun Wusheng's goal had been to wait until he reached the peak of meridian opening and then merged with his clone. Reaching the pinnacle of perfection. When he attacked the Xi'anshan realm, he hoped to advance from a rank 1 celestial to a rank 2 celestial. But Long Chen had destroyed his clone's soul. Even those core runes had been destroyed. Completely destroying his hopes. It was obvious that Yun Wusheng was definitely crazy with rage now. The Yun family would quickly make some large movements. Yun Wusheng definitely wouldn't let things off just like this. However, Mo Yi had already said that Long Chen didn't need to feel any pressure. The Mo family didn't fear any enemies. And when he had said this, his tone had been extremely confident. It seemed he really didn't place these enemies in his eyes, which allowed Long Chen to relax. At the same time, he understood why Mo Yi would want Mo Nian to make so much trouble. It was because the Mo family truly had that confidence. Although Long Chen didn't know that skinny middle-aged man's background, he was sure he was an enormous figure. But Mo Yi still didn't care about him. That wasn't carelessness but confidence. Furthermore, with how long Mo Yi had lived, he definitely wouldn't play around with the Mo family's life and death. Long Chen had been walking with his head down, all kinds of thoughts swirling in his mind. He suddenly realized that he had gone the wrong way. Raising his head, he saw a grand building in front of him. He had actually unconsciously walked to the Immortal Intoxication Building. He supposed that it was because he was so unfamiliar with this city. Bitterly smiling, for some unknown reason, he suddenly thought of Zi Yan's veiled face. He shook his head, turning to leave. Eh? Isn't that Long Chen? He comes to see us? Did the sun rise from the west today? Oh, he's leaving. Novaloon.com Yu Tong and Zi Yan had originally been standing next to the window to look at King Prefecture scenery. Tomorrow, they would be leaving. No matter what cultivation base you reached, once you became familiar with an environment, leaving would always cause a sense of loss. Zi Yan was startled. Looking at the figure that was leaving, an emotion that was difficult to describe welled up inside her. The feeling was sour. She didn't know whether that feeling was because of pity for Long Chen's past or grief for Long Chen's future, or perhaps it was some other feeling. It seems he just got lost, said Zi Yan. Long Chen had only just walked a few dozen meters when more and more people began to appear on the street. Suddenly, Long Chen's heart shook. An old man pushing a small cart was walking by Long Chen's side when a slender sword suddenly appeared in his hand, and he stabbed it directly toward Long Chen's back. He struck like lightning, and his sudden attack was extremely vicious. Most importantly, his disguise had been extremely realistic. It had been practically impossible to sense that he was actually a meridian opening expert. He only released his aura when he attacked. But reacting at that time would be too late. His sword was already pressed against Long Chen's back. However, his sword ended up hitting nothing but air. The instant Long Chen was about to be struck, he had jumped forward a dozen meters. He had just narrowly avoided the old man's sword. A cut had appeared on the back of his robes. Assassins. Long Chen was startled. These damnable fellows had actually appeared here. As soon as the old man had attacked, the people on the street screamed and fled. But two more swords also came stabbing toward Long Chen just after he had dodged the old man's attack. Their incredible speed was shocking. The two of them attacked even more exquisitely, taking action just as Long Chen dodged. With Long Chen still in the air from his jump, it was like he was sending himself toward their blades. PFFT. 
Blood splashed as their swords shattered. The two of them had been slashed apart by a saber. As Long Chen killed the two of them, he felt a burst of pain from his ribs. A slender long sword had stabbed through his skin. That sword was extremely sharp. It had to be known that Long Chen's physical body had reached an abnormally powerful point. Even ordinary Xi'anchen weapons were unable to easily injure him. But that person's blade only pierced two inches into his body when he felt a powerful force block him, making it so he couldn't push it in any further. Long Chen's saber was already slashing toward him. He hastily released his sword, about to run. But just before he released his sword, his body turned numb as a powerful electric current surged into him. Blood drinker slashed through that person's body. That immense force directly turned him into a bloody mist. The street was extremely chaotic. After killing that person, Long Chen felt a burst of numbness from his ribs. That person's sword had contained poison. Mommy, a little girl who appeared to be only three years old held her small doll, sobbing. She was clearly too terrified to move. As for her mother, it seemed she had forgotten her in the chaos. During this slaughter, she had just been crying on the street on her own. Suddenly, she let out a startled cry, as the old man who had first sneak attacked Long Chen picked her up and threw her at Long Chen. At the same time, his aura was fully released as his sword came stabbing toward him. Although he only had the cultivation base of a peak meridian opening expert, in that instant, he had activated some kind of secret art. That sword's power would not lose out to a late Xi'anchen expert's attack. Most importantly, in that instant, space twisted as over ten new experts appeared all of them releasing their strongest attacks on Long Chen. Long Chen had actually, unconsciously, stepped into a death trap. These people were all elite assassins, each of them possessing extraordinary killing power. Furthermore, these assassins all worked together flawlessly. Their completely unscrupulous assassination techniques didn't even give Long Chen a chance to release his aura. Zi Yan and Yu Tong saw that these assassins were using that innocent girl as a trump card, with the power they had released. They would clearly kill the girl along with Long Chen. Long Chen's hands were truly tied now. In this kind of situation, that girl would definitely die. Let alone an ordinary person. Even a Xi'anchen expert would be blown to bits by such a fierce collision. Seeing that terrified girl flying toward him, Long Chen hesitated. In the end, he reached out his hand and caught her. Boom. At the same time, over ten sword attacks landed on Long Chen. That terrifying force caused the entire street to shake intensely. Countless bits and pieces of rubble flew into the air. What shocked Zi Yan and Yu Tong was that Long Chen had used his own back to block their attacks. Furthermore, Long Chen hadn't released his aura. His entire back was a mass of blood, but the girl in his embrace was still alive. Zi Yan and Yu Tong's hearts shook. Long Chen didn't dare circulate his spiritual key to defend because he was afraid of killing the girl. In order to protect the girl, who was a complete stranger to him, he had actually allowed himself to take heavy injuries. Buzz. Suddenly, Long Chen's saber released a scarlet wave that crashed down on those black-robed assassins. The sound of flesh exploding rang out in the streets, and the air reeked of blood. For a moment, the entire world was silent. Many people were hiding in the distance, filled with horror. Bang. Long Chen pointed his finger, and a few people that were hiding in the crowd were killed by bolt after bolt of lightning. Countless screams filled the air as people fled. Long Chen killed seven people like this before his gaze landed on a quivering old woman. He hesitated for a moment and turned away from her, slowly putting down the girl in his embrace. But once he released the girl, Zi Yan and Yu Tong became filled with disbelief, and they tightly covered their mouths with their hands. Chapter 590 True Heart Translator Born to be after releasing the little girl, Long Chen revealed a long needle that was stabbed into his chest. That needle was black as ink and black key was spreading through his flesh at a rate visible to the naked eye. It was obvious that this was an extremely terrifying poison. Zi Yan saw that the girl's terror had disappeared to be replaced with calm. She looked at Long Chen with a gaze that invoked pity, a gaze that made it impossible for anyone to suspect she would actually kill someone. As for the doll in her hand, there was a hole in it. Obviously, it was no doll but a killing mechanism. How could it be like this? Yu Tong looked from the girl to the black needle in Long Chen's chest, her heart filled with indescribable pain. Do you hate me? Long Chen slowly kneeled down and calmly looked at this girl, gently rubbing her cheek. The girl was very beautiful, looking like she could have been cut out of jade, appearing like a flawless porcelain doll. I know that of the people I just killed, your father and mother were probably amongst them. Do you hate me? Long Chen asked again. The girl shook her head. 
This handsome face in front of her had just seemed like the face of a death god, but now in the blink of an eye, it was the face of a big brother figure, making her feel warm and safe. A trace of panic flashed in her eyes. I am the killing god's follower. We aren't afraid of death. Our deaths just allow us to return to the embrace of our god. Slaughter is our divine mission. We don't know love, and we don't know hate. We live just for slaughter. The girl suddenly summoned the courage to speak as if these words gave her the courage to face Long Chen. But for such emotionless words to come from a three-year-old girl was truly chilling. Zi Yan and Yu Tong's hearts jumped. Such a young child had already been imbued with such an ideology? Who told you this? Asked Long Chen. This is the killing god's guidance. Have you seen your killing god? No. Then how do you know this is the killing god's guidance? How do you even know it exists? Asked Long Chen. You. You can't blaspheme the killing god. You can kill me. But you can't blaspheme the killing god. Raged the girl. Long Chen looked at this little girl's furious expression and smiled slightly. Looks like you really are a devout follower. But your eyes tell me you're a bit nervous and afraid. You are trying to use another kind of strength to force yourself to go against your own heart. Killing a stranger is something you feel is evil, is wrong. You are trying to use the strength of your god to erase that feeling of wrong. Unfortunately, your god's strength isn't strong enough. It is unable to erase your guilt or remorse. Compared to a god's strength, the strength of the heart is much greater. Cough. Long Chen coughed up two mouthfuls of blood. That blood was black. Even Long Chen's face was turning black. Big brother. You, seeing Long Chen like this, that girl finally revealed a slightly disturbed expression. She opened her mouth, but she didn't know what to say. I won't die, so you don't need to worry. In truth, the very moment you were thrown over, I already saw your panic and unease. That indecision you revealed back then was completely different from terror. Long Chen smiled. You, don't you think I'm very stupid? Long Chen mocked himself, gently stroking the girl's hair. Seeing you reminds me of a certain person. She should be even younger than you. But I trust she's definitely just as cute as you. So I couldn't bear to kill you. The reason I didn't kill you isn't because I'm kind-hearted. I just like acting in accordance to my heart. I do what I want to do. So no matter what I do, no matter how many people I kill, I'm able to bear it. I can sleep with my conscience at rest. Little sister, remember your brother's words. There's no such thing as true right or wrong. Just act according to your heart. Cough. That way, you can live happier. Long Chen once more coughed up blood. Big brother. Regret and sadness appeared in that girl's eyes. Long Chen pulled out the needle. There were horrifying barbs all along the needle. And broken pieces of Long Chen's insides were still stuck to it. Long Chen slowly closed his eyes. And the primal chaos space released endless life energy. The blackness spreading throughout his body instantly returned to normal. And the injury on his chest slowly closed. In just a single breath, he had fully recovered. That poison was fatal to others, but it was nothing to Long Chen. As long as he had life energy left, he could force it out of his body without even needing antitoxin pills. Furthermore, this was a poison that focused on the physical body, but Long Chen's physical body had reached a level that even he wasn't sure of. Big brother, are you leaving? Yes, I still have many things to do. Goodbye. Long Chen turned and walked away. Big brother Long Chen. I. I'm little you -er. that girl suddenly courageously shouted, but Long Chen had already disappeared past the end of the street, it was unknown whether he had heard it or not, a disappointed expression appeared on her face, suddenly, an old woman who appeared to be in her fifties rushed out of the crowd, she had originally been cowering in a corner, but once Long Chen left, she rushed forward, picked up the girl, and disappeared almost instantly, startled cries rang out, so there had actually been another assassin hiding, Seeing the direction which the old woman had gone, Yu Tong sighed. Long Chen must have noticed her long ago, but he didn't kill her. He must have wanted her to bring the girl away. Just what kind of person is Long Chen? Sometimes he's a merciless killer, slaughtering people like a bloodthirsty devil king. But he also has times when he is kind-hearted and acts so foolishly. If he had been unable to block that poison, wouldn't he have lost his life just now? Did he only act this way so that we would see it? Zi Yan shook her head. With Long Chen's character, he would disdain doing such a thing. It's just like he said. He doesn't care about right or wrong. He just acts according to his heart. So he does many things that seem foolish to other people. But he always has a clear conscience and doesn't care about other people's opinions. The heart, muttered Yu Tong. Don't think about that. Perhaps that's a feeling that only such a legendary existence can have. 
were unable to experience it, said Zi Yan. But after saying that, she couldn't help feeling that Long Chen's future would be lamentable. Long Chen's only possible ending was to be destroyed beneath the heavenly deos. He walked a path that was impossible to walk to the end. That was because what he was facing was the heavens. Sister, what was the killing god that girl mentioned? How come I haven't heard of it? Asked Yu Tong. Her killing god isn't a true god. Our immortal palace's secret canon has records of 108 true gods. But there is no record of a killing god. Our immortal palace had countless powerful experts that appeared over successive generations. But only the ninth divine emissary relied on her own strength to rise into those rankings. Becoming number 103. These assassins cultivate slaughter techniques. Those aren't true divine arts. And their auras are completely different. However, their fighting style truly is similar to that scum from the divine world. And Puta. Perhaps they are leftovers from his Dao. Said Zi Yan. But when she mentioned and Puta. Contempt and ridicule appeared on her face. That kind of expression very rarely appeared on the normally calm Zi Yan. In other words. This and Puta definitely had to be an exceptionally despicable existence. Sister's knowledge truly is great. Praised Yu Tong. Your mental realm isn't high enough to read the secret canon yet. Once you reach that realm, you'll naturally have the qualifications to look through it. However, you'll have to prepare yourself. When you see those recordings about the immortal era, it will bring about a practically destructive impact to your Dao heart. If you aren't able to endure it, it would be a catastrophe for you. Warned Zi Yan, a complicated expression appearing on her face. There was even a trace of sadness in her eyes. Well, let's not talk about that for now. We're going to leave tomorrow. Junior sister, let's stroll around and buy some trinkets from this mundane world. I'm sure our fellow disciples in the immortal palace would be delighted to see those. Long Chen was feeling a bit depressed. Looking at that girl's innocent and pure eyes had made him think of his own sister that he had never met. Calculating the time, she should almost be two years old. She was only a bit younger than that girl. However, his sister should be growing up completely carefree under his parents' pampering. But seeing this girl, who also should have been pampered by her own parents, being raised into a killing machine, Long Chen felt pain inside. Despite knowing that this girl had also been an assassin who had wanted his life, he had foolishly spared and forgiven her. Even Long Chen didn't know why he would be that foolish, but he really was unable to kill such a naive child. Her kind of belief was truly terrifying. That kind of belief could make a person lose their rationality and become crazy. The assassins from the Blood Kill Hall were truly a bunch of madmen. Previously, Long Chen had thought they were just idiots. Even after he had killed so many of them, they still didn't know how to retreat Novaloon.com now he sneered inside. They treated themselves as slaughter weapons. Whether they killed or were killed, they would feel no terror. They treated death as returning to the embrace of their god? Then fine. The next time he saw them, he would send them all directly to their god for free, letting them have a celebratory reunion. Long Chen was weary of these days. No one could be on guard forever. His only option was to give them a painful lesson in order to cease their never-ending entanglement. As he walked, he didn't sense any more assassins. Most likely, their attack was over with that one wave. Seeing the Huaian auction house before him, Long Chen directly entered. Chapter 591 Discovering a Pleasant Surprise Translator Born to be leaving the Huaian auction house. Long Chen felt a bit uneasy when he had seen Yao Naiming and Yao Nikian once more. The two of them had been extremely reserved, no longer acting as carefree around him as before. He knew that was definitely because of his battle with Yun Wusheng. His reputation had grown immensely, to the point they were no longer close to the same level. Long Chen was still the same Long Chen, but in their eyes, they could no longer treat him as an ordinary friend. Even speaking with him had to be done very carefully. This time, he had gone over to collect a few of the medicinal ingredients he had asked Shen Wenlong to gather for him. He was preparing to refine the Heaven Ascension pill. This pill's name was a bit frightening, sounding as if it was used for suicide. Later, people had felt it was such a bad name that they had changed it to be called the Heaven Advancing Pill. As the name implied, it was used for peak meridian opening experts to break through to the Xi'anchen realm. There were many pill formulas for the Heaven Advancing Pill, but their effects were different. An ordinary heaven advancing pill would only give a person an extra 10% chance of advancing. But the best heaven advancing pill sold by the pill tower increased a person's chances of breaking through by 50%. However, within Long Chen's pill god memories, he had a formula that could only be described as heaven defying. It gave people a 100% chance of advancing to the Xi'anchen realm. 
Yes, 100% chance. There was no chance of failure. That was a pill formula that came from the ancient era. The fortunate thing was that the medicinal ingredients required hadn't gone extinct. Zhen Wenlong had managed to gather them all. However, they had been extremely expensive. The huge sum of money Long Chen had obtained by selling the divine soil would have been enough to pay back the majority of his debt. But now, his debt had once more inflated. Not only had it inflated, but it had gotten too big, causing Zhen Wenlong to have an urge to cry. He had no choice but to once more send in an application to the Huaian sect for more authority, allowing him to keep a higher amount of debt. It could be said that Long Chen's debt to Zhen Wenlong, which was also Zhen Wenlong's debt to the Huaian sect, had grown to a frightening level. Zhen Wenlong had even once held Long Chen's hand, imploring, You absolutely cannot die. If you die, your brother will also die with you. Although he knew Zhen Wenlong was joking, he felt certain that Zhen Wenlong was under a great deal of pressure. The Huaian sect was just too large. With his current position, he had severely overdrawn his limit, but it still wasn't enough for Long Chen. However, Zhen Wenlong had first promised to do what Long Chen asked before saying his joke. That made Long Chen admire him greatly. He truly was bold. This time, Long Chen had picked up 16 medicinal ingredients, all of which he had urgently needed. Refining the heaven advancing pill required over a hundred medicinal ingredients, but his primal chaos space had already had the majority. These were all the rest he had needed. After obtaining these, he had hesitated a great deal before clenching his teeth and giving Zhen Wenlong a pill formula. That was the meridian opening pill formula, and its main ingredient was the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit. It was the best meridian opening pill formula that he possessed. Even the pill tower didn't have such a pill formula. Currently, all the members of the Dragonblood Legion had already advanced to Meridian Opening, so this formula was already useless. Other than its obvious effect, this particular formula had an even greater use. But for now, that use wasn't as obvious. After leaving behind that pill formula, Long Chen had also written a letter for Yao Niming to give to Zhen Wenlong. Then he returned to Mogate. After his battle with Yun Wusheng, all of King's Hao City had become calm. There were very few people on the streets these days. An extremely grave air hung over the city, and people felt like a boulder was pressing onto their hearts, making it hard for them to breathe. Mo Yi had also warned Long Chen and Mo Nian not to go out as much, because they were currently in an extremely dangerous period. Their opponent had tried probing their strength twice now and failed both times. It was very likely for them to lose their patience and skip straight to a decisive battle. Most importantly, Long Chen had killed Yun Wusheng's clone, destroying years of his efforts. The Yun family would definitely go crazy, so Long Chen definitely had to be worried about being assassinated when he was outside Mo Gate. After returning to Mo Gate, Long Chen asked for a private room. He was going to focus on refining the heaven advancing pills. Although he wasn't aware of the Dragonblood Legion's current state, according to his calculations, that ocean's worth of bone tempering pills they had consumed must have stored a tremendous amount of medicinal energy in their bones. After advancing to Meridian Opening, that medicinal energy would slowly release, allowing them to cultivate at an extremely rapid pace. They should be able to quickly reach the late meridian opening realm. It wouldn't be long before they would touch the Xianchen barrier. The Xianchen realm involved transforming Haoshan Qi to Xianchen Qi. Once you reached the late meridian opening realm, you would be able to sense another kind of spiritual key. That was Xianchen Qi. Heaven and Earth's spiritual key was split between Haoshan and Xianchen. Haoshan's spiritual key was the most ordinary spiritual key of the world, but Xianchen's spiritual key was hidden within Haoshan's spiritual key, and like a fish in water, it needed to be deliberately caught. Xianchen's spiritual key was the spiritual key that had been present when the world was first born. At the late meridian opening realm, you would be able to sense that spiritual key and gradually form a connection. To put it frankly, it was almost like fishing. You had to come up with a way to lure the fish into your body. Once you drew that Xianchen spiritual key into your body, it would baptize your physical body, transforming your Haoshan key into Xianchen power. Then you would be a true Xianchen expert. This was a true milestone. Once a person reached the Xianchen realm, once they were nourished by that Xianchen spiritual key, their body would completely transform. A person's longevity would multiply by 10 times, and they would also age slower. That was why Xianchen experts might look to be in their 30s but actually be centuries old. When a person reached the Xianchen realm, then while their Xianchen power had yet to decline, 
they would generally keep the same appearance, but once their longevity began to reach its end, and if they couldn't break through, then even a Xi'anchen expert would age a great deal. Once a person reached the Xi'anchen realm, it was essentially impossible to deduce their age by looking at them. Some people might look very old but only be a few centuries old because their talent was too low, and so they only reached the Xi'anchen realm in their 60s or 70s. Furthermore, once you reached the Xi'anchen realm, there were countless youngsters. That was why most female cultivators treated the Xi'anchen realm as their final target. In the Xi'anchen realm, a person's longevity would be around 1,000 years. Furthermore, during the first 800 years, your appearance wouldn't change much. What beauty could resist that temptation? The most terrifying thing to them was to slowly watch as they powerlessly aged to an old and withered state. Entering his room, Long Chen directly placed the medicinal ingredients into the primal chaos space. The primal chaos space was truly Long Chen's treasure mine. It could be said that without the primal chaos space, Long Chen would have zero chance of ever cultivating the nine-star hegemon body art to its pinnacle in his lifetime, let alone everything else. Just the Aeliev star had made him completely stuck. The Killin fruit was essentially extinct. Although he had found one tree, considering how many Killin fruits he had needed, he wouldn't have been able to completely condense the Aeliev star without several millennia at least. A. Long Chen suddenly sensed there was something odd with the primal chaos space. Then, he noticed that at some unknown time, a strange little tree had appeared. That tree was growing at the center of the black soil. It was three meters tall and runes covered it completely, releasing an odd aura. Wah, what? Long Chen was struck dumb for several long moments. Even his tongue felt like it was in a knot. He was filled with absolute shock. That small tree had many leaves, all the size of a palm. However, each blade of those leaves contained a rune. It was those runes that shocked him so badly. That was because those runes were very familiar. Those were the heavenly Dao runes that had been released into the void when Yun Wusheng had died. Back then, Long Chen had thought they had returned to heaven and earth. Now that he thought back to it, he recalled that the primal chaos beat had trembled slightly at that time. Could it be that it had absorbed those runes? And then, Long Chen was completely bewildered as he looked at this tree. This terrifying black soil could even devour heavenly Dao runes? Heavenly Dao runes were the core runes of celestials. Celestials used them to summon the help of the heavenly Daos, creating that manifestation known as the cry of the heavenly Daos. It was similar to using one fish to draw over more fish, but these runes represented the will of the heavens. With Long Chen's current strength, they still suppressed him. However, since he had condensed the life fate star, he was just barely able to resist it. Nevertheless, resisting these runes didn't represent suppressing these runes, let alone forcing them to submit. But the primal chaos space had somehow managed to do that, and furthermore, it had grown this mysterious tree. A tree? A sudden thought popped into Long Chen's mind. Would this tree eventually bear fruit? If it could. Ah, I get it now. During the Mo family's inheritance, the primal chaos space was trying to absorb the heavenly Dao seed for this. He thought back to how when he had obtained the heavenly Dao seed, it had refused to be refined by him. But with a slight thought from the primal chaos bead, it had been about to be drawn into the black soil. He had assumed that it would be transformed into life energy, and that would be an absolute waste. That was why he had decided to place the Dao seed into Mo Nian's body. Primal Chaos Bead. Just what kind of existence are you? Muttered Long Chen. The Primal Chaos Bead's power was too heaven defying. Not only could it allow vegetation to grow quickly, but it could even absorb the energy of the heavenly Daos. It was so powerful that it was terrifying. But Long Chen was so excited he almost danced. The Primal Chaos Bead gave him confidence. With it, he could fight against the entire world. Ah, no good. I'm too excited. This state isn't suitable for refining pills. Long Chen left the primal chaos space but still felt a wild joy. The failure rate of refining would be too high like this. Suddenly, a light buzz came from the bottom of his right foot. Long Chen was startled, hastily checking what had happened. Ha ha ha, it really is a case of fortune coming in pairs. The life fate star has fully condensed. Now I just need to focus on the nine star transformations. He. When I summoned the three-star battle armor, so what if Yun Wusheng's true body comes? I'll smack him dead with a single slap. Long Chen sat down and took out a large jar. Inside were the life fate pills he had previously refined. Opening his mouth, he swallowed a dozen of them in one go. Chapter 592 The Yun Family's Fury Translator Born to be while Long Chen was in seclusion, 
News that he had killed Yun Wusheng rapidly spread throughout the other prefectures. Furthermore, the photographic jades of Long Chen's fight had been endlessly replicated and sent to sects both large and small. Essentially anyone with any status received a copy. As a result, some people made a killing. Just by selling photographic jades, they made an immense profit. As those photographic jades spread, Long Chen's name began to shake the surrounding prefectures. There were very few people in those prefectures cultivation world that didn't know his name. Previously, he had fought against the top experts of the righteous and corrupt paths in the Jiuli secret realm, that had already spread his name. But this time, it was even more terrifying. Even a celestial had been killed by him. Was Long Chen trying to defy the heavens? However, along with the news of Long Chen's battle with Yun Wusheng, another piece of news also spread. It was about an enormous power that was planning on targeting the Mo family. Many powers were extremely curious just what kind of existence would dare challenge the ruler of King Prefecture. In their curiosity, quite a few experts rushed over to King Prefecture, preparing to watch the excitement. At the same time, they wanted to see whether Long Chen was as strong as the story said he was. Although they had seen the images in the photographic jades, photographic jades only recorded image and sound. It was impossible to feel any aura, so watching them always felt a bit unreal. King Prefecture was in a turbulent time. Experts gathered from every direction, causing the atmosphere in King Prefecture to become different. Several days later, a serious piece of news spread. The Yun family's experts had descended onto King Prefecture, and they furiously rushed into the city. This caused a huge ruckus in King's house city. Seeing how furious the Yun family was, they all anticipated an immense battle with the Mo family. After all, Long Chen had killed Yun Wusheng's clone, severing his path of advancing to a second rank celestial. That was an immense enmity. Dozens of the Yun family's experts were led by a half step C expansion expert. Seeing their soaring killing intent, everyone knew that a terrifying battle was about to begin, and they all rushed out to watch. Bastards from the Huaian auction house, get the fuck out here. Today, if you don't give me an explanation, I'll raise your auction house. What no one had expected was that the Yun family didn't go find trouble for the Mo family but went directly to the Huaian auction house instead. The Yun family's expert had blocked the entrance to the Huaian auction house. From that posture, it seemed they wanted to destroy the entire building. That startled everyone. It had to be known that behind the Huaian auction houses was the Huaian sect that was a huge existence that dared to even challenge the pill tower. Just what was the Yun family planning to do? What have these esteemed guests come for? The people who came out of the Huaian auction house were Yao Naiming and Yao Nikian. They were also very startled. They hadn't heard of anyone coming to find trouble for the Huaian sect in many years. However, according to the Huaian sect's rules, they always had to smile while they received guests. Unless those people actually attacked, they had to treat them as guests. Bastards, your Huaian auction house actually dares to harm my Yun family. That divine soil you sold to us is actually toxic, roared the elder from the Yun family. His words startled everyone. They suddenly recalled how Yun Wusheng seemed to have bought some miraculous soil for an enormous price from the Huaian auction house over a month ago. It was said that this soil had shaken all of King Prefecture. Unfortunately, many people only learned about it after it had been sold, and so they hadn't had a chance to see its effects in person. Now hearing this elder's furious roar and his twisted expression, it seemed there was something fishy going on. Senior, if you have something to say, you can say it inside. It's not suitable to shout in the streets, said Yao Naiming very courteously. He wanted them to converse inside. After all, as a businessman, he had to pay particular attention to amicability. But having them hurling abuses at the entrance was not good for their reputation. TCH don't bother lying, you little peddlers. If you don't give my Yun family an explanation, we'll raise your Huaian auction house right now. A touch of anger appeared on the Yao siblings' faces. Calling them peddlers might not be taboo, but it was definitely extremely offensive to them. It was the people from the Pill Tower who liked to mock the Huaian sect by calling them peddlers. However, only people from the Pill Tower had the power to say such a thing. Now that the Yun family also dared use it, it was too much. Adding on their attitude, the time for pleasantries was over. The Huaian sect had existed for countless years. Other than being suppressed by the Pill Tower for a moment, there was no other power that dared be so unbridled toward them. Yao Naiming smiled and said, Senior from the Yun family, I only call you senior due to the principle that guests must be respected. It doesn't mean I'm afraid of you. 
If you want to raise my Huai in auction house, then please go ahead. I won't stop you. I want to see just how many days your Yun family can exist in this world after doing so. He waved his hand and stepped aside, his meaning that they could go ahead. He wouldn't stop them. The elder from the Yun family turned gloomy. What he had said just now had just been words. He knew what kind of existence the Huai insect was. That was an enormous existence that dared challenge the pill tower. He wouldn't dare to break even a single vase in their auction house. However, the Huai insect's disciples were also amicable and had good temperaments. They rarely provoked anyone. That was what had made him so unbridled. But now it was obvious his provocation had infuriated Yao Naiming. Yao Naiming's thoughts were clear. You want to show off? Go ahead. I want to see if you dare accept the wrath of my Huai insect now that he had said such big words. And with so many experts now watching, he became extremely awkward. If you ride a tiger, it's hard to get off. Yao Naiming looked at his awkward expression and decided not to make things harder on him. After all, he was a businessman. Unless it reached the point of no return, he wouldn't offend a guest. Senior from the Yun family, this little one was a bit impolite just now. Please forgive me. However, saying that my Huai insect would harm you is a bit too much. My Huai insect always conducts itself openly, fairly, and honestly, cheating no one. Nothing of the sort has happened in many years. If there are any problems, I'm sure we can resolve them. It seems releasing your temper like that isn't able to solve anything, right? Said Yao Naiming. Those hidden experts had no choice but to admire Yao Naiming. This was the essence of the Huai insect. It was clearly the other side that had deliberately provoked them. But the Huai insect was still tactful, giving them face. He was clearly giving this elder of the Yun family a way out. In truth, the enormity of the Huai insect was something everyone knew. There was no need for Yao Naiming to be this gentle. The fact that he had showed his business philosophy. He definitely wouldn't use power to suppress others. HMPH, isn't it all because of your Huai in auction house's wares? That was no divine soil. It was practically a demonic soil, causing my Yun family's meridian opening spirit cliff trees to all wither and be on their last breaths. Speak, don't you feel like you should take responsibility? Although this elder knew Yao Naiming had given him face, he was still shouting furiously. With a wave of his hand, a large tree appeared in front of everyone. That large tree was over 30 meters tall, but now it was completely bare, with not a single blade of leaf on it. It was impossible to tell that this was a meridian opening spirit cliff tree. Furthermore, seeing how withered it was, it seemed its lifespan had reached its limit. This is my Yun family's meridian opening spirit cliff tree. It was originally flourishing, but now, your Huai in auction house must give me an explanation. Seeing that tree, Yao Naiming and Yao Nikian jumped in shock. Such a large meridian opening spirit cliff tree had to be countless years old. That tree's vitality had truly reached an end, but there was nothing else that could be seen from it. Yao Naiming frowned. Senior, I don't understand. This tree died from old age. It has clearly reached the limit of its lifespan. What does that have to do with my auction house? What nonsense. The limit of its lifespan. How could over 300 of my Yun family's meridian opening spirit cliff trees reach their limits at the same time? Each meridian opening spirit cliff tree has a lifespan of over 10,000 years. Of the trees we bitterly raised, only half had reached an age of 10,000 years. Tell me, how could they all have reached their limit at the same time? Raged the elder from the Yun family. Even his eyes turned red now. Originally, when Yun Wusheng first returned with that divine soil, the Yun family hadn't directly used it to stimulate the meridian opening spirit cliff fruits. They had first tested it on hundreds of various medicinal ingredients. They found that under the support of a spirit gathering formation, as long as spiritual key was injected into this divine soil, those medicinal ingredients would rapidly grow. An incense stick's worth of time was equivalent to decades of growth. Even so, the Yun family hadn't immediately tested it on the meridian opening spirit cliff trees. They did over half a month of testing, finding that no matter what plant they used, there was no problem at all. After that, they finally chose one old tree that was just a few centuries from reaching its limit as an experiment. What had made them go crazy with joy was that this old tree seemed to revitalize, flourishing with life. The divine soil released a miraculous energy that allowed that old tree to quickly bear fruit. And in just three days, the tree had produced over a thousand fruits. As a result, the Yun family went crazy with joy. In just three days, the fruits they had gathered from that one old tree was equivalent to 10 years of the other 300 trees combined. 
There was no way around that, as the meridian opening spirit cliff fruit matured too slowly. The thing that made them the most delighted was that the old tree became filled with life energy, as if it had been completely reborn Novaloon.com after that many tests. They were finally completely reassured, and they sprinkled that divine soil over the roots of every single one of their trees. Not only did they reap an immense amount of fruit, but their trees also began to flourish with life. The Yun family wished they could obtain more of this divine soil, and they had even secretly sent people to investigate just who had consigned that divine soil for sale. They would pay whatever price to bring that person to their side. If they could learn where that person had obtained this divine soil, the Yun family would definitely soar. But it was at this time that a piece of grievous news arrived. Chapter 593 Demanding an Explanation Translator Born to be Yun Wusheng's clone had been killed. This news was like a bucket of ice water that splashed onto the Yun family's hearts. There were no more than five people in the Yun family that had even been aware Yun Wusheng had possessed a clone. It was an absolute secret. But when Yun Wusheng erupted from his secret room and roared, the Yun family had been startled out of their delight. The divine soil might be miraculous but its use was limited. Yun Wusheng was the true hope of the Yun family soaring. If nothing unexpected happened, then when Yun Wusheng merged with his clone, it would have been almost certain that he could advance to a rank 2 celestial. A rank 2 celestial was even closer to the heavenly deos. The heavenly deos showed even more care for them, and they would be able to walk even further on their cultivation path. The Yun family had entrusted all their hopes to Yun Wusheng, but that hope had been destroyed by Long Chen. For this matter, even the Yun family's patriarch had come out of his seclusion, immediately ordering all the Yun family's experts to gather. But just at that moment, a second piece of grievous news struck. The divine soil's divine nature had faded, and as a result, the meridian opening spirit cliff trees were beginning to slowly wither. That news scared the life out of the Yun family. The Yun family had no medicinal fields, they had no mines, nor did they have any businesses. The majority of their income was focused on these meridian opening spirit cliff trees. It could be said that those trees were the Yun family's lifeline. When they saw that all of them seemed to have gotten sick at once, even their leaves wilting and falling, the Yun family had immediately leaked into action. They tried activating spirit gathering formations to their peak all over the trees. Endless life energy poured into them, but those trees didn't show any signs of getting better. What the Yun family did not know was that this divine soil came from Long Chen's primal chaos space. That soil possessed a mysterious energy, and Long Chen was able to use his spiritual key to stimulate the soil, allowing vegetation to rapidly grow. However, the divine soil that Long Chen had sold had some extra spice he had added. That spice was the strange black soil at the center of the primal chaos space. Ever since he had obtained the primal chaos space, he hadn't given up investigating its powers. He found that its ordinary yellow soil possessed a mysterious energy, and even if that soil left his primal chaos space, as long as there was spiritual key, it could also stimulate the growth of vegetation. However, the effect was much, much worse than when it was in the primal chaos space. Furthermore, the soil's energy was limited. After a point, no matter how much spiritual key you poured in, the soil would lose all its effect. The yellow soil only contained a certain amount of power. Once that power was used up, it would just be ordinary soil. As for the black soil, it possessed an annihilation aura. It was the exact opposite of the yellow soil. One was life, while the other was death. They were two extremes. Furthermore, the black soil was much more terrifying than the yellow soil. Its effect was a hundred times greater. This time, Long Chen had meticulously planned out his con. Once the Yun family had placed the divine soil onto the meridian opening spirit cliff trees, the trees would not only be nourished by the yellow soil, but they would also be infected by the black soil. However, because he had used so little of the black soil, it was suppressed by the yellow soil at first. But once the yellow soil's energy was used up, the black soil's death energy would no longer be suppressed. Because there was so little of the black soil, it would release its power slowly. But once it started, the meridian opening spirit cliff trees would be powerless to resist. In less than a day, they had begun to wither. By the second day, their leaves had begun to fall, and three days later, those trees were completely bare, like a beauty that had taken off her clothes. According to reason, a beauty that had taken off its clothes would be even more moving. But if that beauty had lost all her life energy and become a withered old hag, one without any hair, it really was difficult to appreciate her beauty. In three days, the Yun family's trees had all reached their last breaths. 
the Yun family's patriarch had actually coughed up three mouthfuls of blood and directly fainted. Now, all of them panicked. With their patriarch unconscious, they had no master. The Yun family's higher-ups immediately called for a meeting. They all agreed this matter was a trap. A trap targeting the Yun family. They needed to get an explanation from the Huaian auction house. Even the matter of Yun Wusheng's clone being killed was temporarily set aside. They had to handle this matter first. As for Yun Wusheng, his soul was injured with the death of his clone, and he needed a few days to rest. This matter was too critical. Before their trees completely died, they had rushed their way to the Huaian auction house to figure out what had happened. Just who had entrapped their Yun family? Once they found that culprit, they would force whoever it was to hand over the antidote. The Yun family had even sent out a half-stepsy expansion expert to get an explanation. The only reason they hadn't sent out their full forces was because no matter how arrogant they were, they wouldn't dare attack the Huaian sect like that. They were only seeking an explanation. But the Yun family's members were truly too furious. Their attitude was too rude, causing Yao Naiming to be extremely irritated. Hearing the story from this elder, Yao Naiming was apologetic. But he said, Senior, I will represent the Huaian sect to express my understanding and sympathy. But this matter can't be blamed on my auction house. What nonsense. It was your auction house which sold it. If I don't blame you, who am I supposed to blame? Raged the elder. Despite his good temperament, Yao Naiming couldn't help getting angry now. He icily said, Senior, please pay attention to your tone. We businessmen rely on amiability to do business, but we're not people that anyone can insult. When we sold this divine soil, my auction house made it extremely clear that its background was unknown and it was impossible to appraise. That divine soil's true effect was unknown, and we only sold it on behalf of someone else. Buying that divine soil posed a certain amount of risk, so the buyer had to be cautious. Furthermore, my auction house kept the spirit stones paid for it for one month so that if Yun Wusheng felt the divine soil had some kind of problem, he could return it during that one month for a full refund. Now, it's already half a month after that limit. We've already given the money to the seller. Do you think it's suitable for you to come ask for a refund now? The contract is right here. It's written in black and white and is very clear. My Huaian auction house never cheats anyone and always acts sincerely. For you to curse me like this over and over, saying my auction house harmed your Yun family, I'd say that you are insulting and provoking my Huaian sect. It seems you have to give me an explanation. Yao Naiming was finally furious. He had run this auction house for many years, and this was the first time he had encountered such a situation. He icily glared at the elder from the Yun family, not even calling him senior anymore. You, you, what a bunch of nonsense. You're forcibly twisting the logic. Your auction house's divine soil was clearly poison soil set to intentionally harm my Yun family. All my Yun family's fruit trees are on their last breaths, and you want me to give you an explanation. If your distinguished self is able to read, you should be able to clearly read what's written on this contract. You bought this voluntarily, and it is written right there that this divine soil could be dangerous and that the buyer had to be cautious. Your Yun family only saw the benefit but forgot the danger. After getting an advantage you like to brag about your riches, but after suffering a disadvantage you come out to hurl abuses on the streets, said Yao Naiming. Big brother, said Yao Nikian. Sister, don't worry, they came here to provoke us. So saying this doesn't count as breaking the rules. As businessmen, of course we have to be polite to our customers. But if some scoundrel comes here to act shamelessly, we can't just blindly endure it. Even if they want to complain, I can accept their complaints. But I trust the sect will not allow us to simply be bullied, said Yao Nikian. You, the Yun family's elder turned purple with rage, his whole body trembling. After talking, it was as if it was their Yun family that had become the contemptible little people. With the contract in Yao Naiming's hands, with the personal signature of Yun Wusheng, there was nothing he could do. Your Yun family has suffered quite a bit of damage. Due to my humanitarianism, my auction house can return the transaction fee we took. But that is my greatest concession, said Yao Naiming. Those experts hiding in the dark couldn't help nodding their heads. The Huaian auction house's way of handling things truly had nothing to nitpick about. Originally, with this contract, the Yun family had essentially just come here to cause trouble for no reason. The auction house had already said they were unable to determine the origins of that soil, and that it was dangerous. But their Yun family had seen the possible profits and hastily used it. Now that they suffered for it, they immediately turned hostile. That truly was despicable. In comparison, 
The Huai insect, such an enormous existence, didn't use their power to suppress them in the slightest despite the Yun family coming to find trouble for them. Under the Yun family's rude cursing, they had still replied politely, even agreeing to return their commission to them. In other words, they would have lost any profits they had made from this transaction, wasting all their work. This kind of attitude was truly admirable. It was no wonder the Huai insect's reputation was so good. This magnanimity won them the good opinion of countless experts. Now these experts found the Yun family to be even more despicable. They, a grand ancient family, actually wanted to blame someone else for their own mistakes. They were truly shameless. They laugh so heartily when they win, but they cry like babies as soon as they lose. Haha, <laughs> how interesting. An old senior who was drinking wine in a distant restaurant sneered. His voice wasn't loud, but these people's cultivation bases were so high. They could clearly hear his voice even from dozens of miles away. Furthermore, his voice was very gentle, as if he was an ordinary person just chatting normally. His words shocked everyone. They were shocked by his guts, but they were also shocked by how strong he had to be to dare offend the Yun family. The Yun family's elder was enraged, and he was just about to curse this person when he saw the sword on his back. His expression changed, and his curses were swallowed back into his stomach. Seeing his expression, Quite a few people felt a chill, to be able to insult the Yun family and make them not dare to retort. It seemed this senior's origin was quite powerful. The Yun family's elder snorted and ignored that senior, instead turning back to Yao Naiming. My Yun family isn't lacking that bit of money. Tell me, who sold that divine soil? Chapter 594 The Decisive Battle Translator Born to be sorry, but our Huaian auction houses have a responsibility to keep the identities of our sellers confidential for their own safety. Please forgive me for not being able to answer you, said Yao Naiming. On one hand, they truly did have a responsibility to keep it confidential. But on the other hand, Yao Naiming really did not know just who had sold this divine soil. Zhen Wenlong had merely handed it to him and said it was from a mysterious client. Since it was given to him by Zhen Wenlong, then it meant Zhen Wenlong was sure it came from a clean origin. He hadn't asked any further. Keep it confidential for their safety? That person definitely has to be an enemy of my Yun family and was intentionally trying to harm us. If you refuse to answer then you'll raise down my auction house? Alright, please go ahead. I welcome you to raise it down at any time, sneered Yao Naiming. He directly ignored them, pulling Yao Nikian back into the auction house. The spectators also sneered inside. This elder from the Yun family was definitely used to using his status to suppress others, but he should first be aware of who his target was. The Huai insect was an enormous existence that even dared to challenge the pill tower. For them to open their mouths to say they would raise down their auction house, they really had to want to die. They weren't polite because they were afraid of you. They were polite because they had professional integrity. Now the Yun family had truly done it. With the Huai insect ignoring them, it was like they had just slapped themselves. Brave warriors from the Yun family, don't be afraid. Raise down their auction house. I'm very optimistic for you. That's right, that's right. Look at how many people you have. If you just left things like this, wouldn't you have just turned into a bunch of little turtles? What would happen to the face of the Yun family? Go on, hot-blooded heroes. Use your fists to smash their entrance. Let us see just how amazing an ancient family is. I'm cheering for you. Many people cried out trying to incite the Yun family's people to attack. Of course, they didn't dare reveal themselves and simply shouted from the shadows. This was a typical case of bystanders not being afraid of seeing a big mess. Furthermore, they had long since grown tired of the Yun family's arrogant manner. The elder's expression was cold, and he had an urge to kill, but he also didn't dare to do so. In the end, he brought his people away with a gloomy expression. Damn, no way, he's this cowardly. He came so ferociously. But now he's leaving so hurriedly. What a weakling. The spectators were disappointed. The good show they had anticipated had ended like this. Most disappointing of all. They weren't going towards Mo Gate but outside the city. Wait. Isn't that direction where that mysterious power is located? What? Is the Yun family about to join hands with that power to target the Mo family? Then that really would be dangerous for the Mo family. That really is possible. Long Chen killed Yun Wusheng's clone. I heard that completely ruined his plan of advancing to a rank 2 celestial. Their enmity is now set in stone. Now that Long Chen is hiding in Mo Gate, the Yun family has to break through Mo Gate to kill him. The Mo family is probably doomed this time around. But it really is curious. From the start, they've ignored everything happening. 
minding their own businesses if they're not nervous at all. It's impossible to tell what they're thinking. The power targeting the Mo family had finally revealed its face in the battle at Hidden Dragon Abode. But that middle-aged man and his group of experts were truly mysterious, and they hadn't fought. However, there were people who guessed they were definitely on the level of an ancient family, or they wouldn't have been able to work with Yun Wusheng. If that guess was correct, then in the face of two ancient families, the Mo family would definitely be destroyed. There was no suspense at all. However, the calmness that Mo Gate was displaying was truly unfathomable. Most importantly, the Mo family still had yet to go out and ask for help from anyone. They were completely silent. King Prefecture had already begun to become chaotic. Following the destruction of the three great powers, Mo Gate had become the sole ruler. But now Mo Gate was being threatened by two other powers. Quite a few outer powers saw the opportunity to stretch their hands toward King Prefecture. There were even some powers that slowly began annexing the businesses left behind by the three great powers. That was clearly a provocation to Mo Gate. But Mo Gate still didn't react. In fact, some powers forcibly seized some small parts of their territory, and Mo Gate still didn't make a sound. As a result, the things the three great powers left behind became a complete mess, as many smaller powers tried to absorb them. In fact, some even looked like they might reach the same power level as those three great powers. They were all just waiting for their chance. Once Mo Gate was destroyed, they would instantly enlarge their territories. They weren't thinking of becoming the ruler of King Prefecture. They were just hoping to get as many benefits as possible before the new ruler was established. Once the Yun family's experts left, the others also scattered. King's Hao City became deathly silent. It was filled with the feeling of the calm before the storm. Today, Long Chen's mood was very good. As soon as he left his seclusion, he heard a piece of news that raised his spirits. The Yun family's fruit trees had begun to wither. Everything was going as expected. The Yun family's people were truly too greedy. Did they not understand the concept of not putting all your eggs in one basket? That divine soil might have allowed them to produce a great deal of meridian opening spirit cliff fruits. But that was no different from killing the chicken to get the eggs. Now the Yun family had truly been given a grievous blow. With their lifeline severed. With no further income. The Yun family was definitely acting like ants in a hot pot. Furthermore, what excited him even more was that after eating a ridiculous number of pills. The life fate star had finally reached perfection. That meant he could finally summon the three star battle armor. Then the effect of the heavenly Deo suppression would reduce even further. With the nine star hegemon body art, celestials were unable to suppress Long Chen. Young Master Long Chen, the immortal intoxication pavilion Zi Yan sent you a gift. One of Mo Gate's guards respectfully handed Long Chen an embroidered case along with a letter. Zi Yan, Long Chen was startled. Why would she send anything to him? Opening the case, he saw a photographic jade. There was nothing else. Opening the letter, he saw a single line of graceful words. Our meeting in the mortal world was like a dream. I played my first song to listen to your heart. Now that I'm returning to my world, I leave this song to calm your soul. Read Mo Nian. Damn, is this a love letter? Are you a ghost? When did you get here? Long Chen saw that at some unknown point. Mo Nian had appeared behind him. He, Long Chen, how skillful. That Zi Yan actually wrote you a love letter. Hurry, let's see what's inside that photographic jade, said Mo Nian. Well, she left this just for me. I don't think you fuck. How are you so fast? Long Chen had only gotten half his words out before Mo Nian activated the photographic jade. An image appeared in front of them. Within that image was a white-robed woman sitting beside a zither. She appeared extremely noble. Willowy eyebrows, eyes like autumn water, and skin like jade. She was like a sacred goddess noble and grand. This, this is Zi Yan? How beautiful! exclaimed Mo Nian with wide eyes. Long Chen's heart also shook. This woman had to be Zi Yan. That kind of mannerism was something only she possessed. But this time, she had taken off her veil. Suddenly, her light fingers gently plucked the zither's strings. A sound like immortal music floated out, one that penetrated deeply into the heart and cleansed the soul. Following the music, Long Chen felt as if he had forgotten all his fury. His heart became calm and peaceful. No joy or worries. No fear or anger. It was like a pair of soft hands were gently comforting his heart. It made him forget all his vexations, allowing his soul to reach a state of true calm. After an unknown amount of time, the image faded. The two of them were still standing there, lost in some mysterious realm. Ah, this Zi Yan really is a goddess-like woman. After listening to this song, I feel like my mental realm has advanced a great deal. 
Long Chen, you really have some good luck, said Mo Nian enviously. What good luck? Don't you understand what she's saying? She's already left King Prefecture. From now on, we'll truly be people in two different worlds, said Long Chen. He, don't put this away so fast. Good things should be shared. Let me copy it. Wait, damn it. It's not possible to copy it. Mo Nian had taken out a photographic jade and wanted to copy it. But he found that the photographic jade Zi Yan had left was something he had never seen before. And he couldn't copy it. That made him incredibly vexed. This song was extremely beneficial to a person's soul. Occasionally listening to it could allow a person's realm to rapidly advance. It was practically a divine song. But no matter how thick Mo Nian's face was, of course he wouldn't fight with Long Chen over it. That was a gift someone else had given him. He could only watch as Long Chen put it away. Long Chen felt a trace of gratitude towards Zi Yan. This photographic jade wasn't very useful to him, as he walked a different path from other people. But Men Qi, Chu Yao, and the members of the Dragonblood Legion could all use this song. By listening to this song, their mental realms would surpass their cultivation basis. Seven days later, a piece of news rocked the King Prefecture. Yin Wusheng's true body had arrived. Obviously, Yin Wusheng was planning on having a battle with Long Chen. He wanted to kill him as revenge for his clone. King Prefecture was in an incredibly tense state. That heavy atmosphere made it hard for people to breathe. Mo Yi sent orders for Mo Nian and Long Chen to not go outside. At the same time, the Mo family's secluded experts also came out. This was the first time the Mo family entered a true battle state. All their experts were gathered, waiting. What startled Long Chen was that the Mo family actually had over 400 Xi'anshan experts. That was an extremely powerful lineup. The curtains to an immense battle were about to be raised. Long Chen could sense just how warlike the members of the Mo family were. Even their blood was beginning to heat up. Old Ghost Mo Yi, let's have a decisive battle in front of Scorched Earth Forest. Get the fuck out there. Suddenly, a shout resounded throughout all of King's House City. Chapter 595 Gambler Translator Born to be that furious shout caused countless powers within King's House City to shudder. Was an immense battle finally about to start? Although there were countless powers within King Prefecture and there was an unending struggle, it was unknown just how many years had passed since such a large battle had been held. You shameful thing. Even you dare be so arrogant? Then let this old man see just who has such gods. Mo Yi sneered, his voice shaking the heavens, incredibly domineering. With a wave of his hand, the Mo family's experts all strode out of Mo Gate. A battle on this scale could not be held in the city. That would completely destroy all of King's house city and implicate countless innocents. Long Chen and Mo Nian followed behind Mo Yi. Mo Yi now seemed like a divine weapon that had finally been unsheathed. His sharpness shaking the world. Mo Yunchen and the others were following him. Close to 500 Xi'anshan experts were releasing a soaring battle intent. They were all experts amongst experts. These people were only the Mo family's experts. Mu Zhu had originally been planning on joining, but she had been stopped by Long Chen. Mu Zhu's cultivation base wasn't bad, but she hadn't experienced true slaughter. She wasn't suited to such a battle. This battle was something only those on the Xi'anshan level had the qualifications to participate in. So the majority of the Mo family's disciples were all left within Mo Gate. Seeing these people go straight out of the city, the city's hidden spectators were all shocked. So Mo Yi was actually really alive this entire time. Heavens, that's an expert that reached the peak of sea expansion a millennia ago. This time there really will be a show to watch, exclaimed one of them. In the past few centuries, Mo Yi had never revealed himself outside Mo Gate. Everything in Mo Gate had been handed over to Mo Yunchen to handle. Later, people had assumed he was no longer present. There were also people who had intentionally fanned the flames to say that he was gone. That had brought on a huge controversy. But Mo Gate had always remained silent in regards to those rumors. And no one was aware of what was true and what was false. Even without Mo Yi present, Mo Gate had still been a supreme existence above the other sects. Now that he had appeared, it alarmed everyone. This time there really would be an unprecedented battle. Mo Yi was leading people, and he wasn't going fast. The spectators all hid and watched. Long Chen, a great battle's about to start. Aren't you excited? Mo Nian suddenly laughed. He was incomparably excited, and he felt like his blood was boiling. I don't feel anything. Long Chen shook his head. What? Could it be you're afraid? Asked Mo Nain. No. The main thing is that I've experienced too many battles like this. Ever since I started rising in Phoenix Cry, I killed out my own path. Despite knowing a glorious battle is about to start, 
even though I want to get excited. Regretfully, I just can't, said Long Chen helplessly. Ha ha ha, this act of yours gets full points. Mo Nian laughed disdainfully. Long Chen bitterly smiled. He himself felt that he was acting less and less like a youngster. Back when he had left on his journey toward the Zhuangshan Monastery all alone, he had been filled with yearning and anticipation toward the outside world. However, once he left Phoenix Cry, he entered an even bloodier world. In truth, he was a bit tired of these struggles. But this was the reality. If he didn't fight, he would die. If he didn't kill, others would kill him. There was nothing else to do. Long Chen, young people should be full of energy. What is known as life and death is just a game. A game full of gambles. Your life and what you obtain in your life are your gambling chips. Each one of us cultivators is a gambler. We are gambling against the heavens. We are gambling against this chaotic world. As the stakes get higher, as they win more chips, there are many people who start to get afraid. There is a phrase that is circulated throughout the secular world. A barefoot person is not afraid of fighting someone with shoes. 1. In truth, cultivation is the same. We have to remember, we are always barefoot gamblers. Don't think that just because you've won a lot of chips that you have so much capital and can retreat. The rules of the heavens are just like that. Once you start gambling, you can't leave. Of course, the exception is if you manage to win the entire world, becoming this world's master. Otherwise, once you decide to stop betting, the heavens will seize every chip in your hands, as well as your life, said Mo Yi. Long Chen's heart shook. Mo Yi's thoughts were very similar to his own. This was precisely a chaotic world. He was like a gambler, and through constant work, he obtained more chips to make himself stronger. But as he got stronger, his opponents also got stronger. The bets always became bigger, and the gambling grew fiercer and fiercer. Once you sat down at this gambling table, you couldn't leave. Either you won the entire world, or you lost everything you had. Of course, this was much crueler than gambling with just chips. That was because what you were gambling with were the things most precious to you. For example, your family, your lover, your friends. Each time you lost, you lost some of them. Most hateful of all, even if you could flip the tables and win back your chips, you wouldn't necessarily be able to win back the chips you had originally lost. Long Chen thought of those core disciples from the 108th monastery that had died. They had fought shoulder to shoulder with him, but in the Jiuli secret realm, they had died to Yun Wushuang's sinister schemes. He had then killed Yun Wushuang and Han Shianayu. In fact, he had undergone a slaughter of both the righteous and corrupt paths. According to this gambling theory, he had already won. He had won resources, he had won wealth, and he had also won some new friends. But those fallen brothers were forever gone. Each time Long Chen recalled the scene of Lu Fanger's death, he was filled with indescribable pain. What he had felt for Lu Fanger had not been a romantic love, and Lu Fanger had always been joking when she said she was an extra for when he married Men Qi, a so-called buy one get one free. Although it was just a joke that they were together, Long Chen was truly unable to accept the fact that she had died just like that. He had killed Feng Xiao Zi. He had destroyed the Wind Spirit Pavilion. But so what? Would that revive Lu Fanger? What was lost was lost. Even if you won back your chips, they wouldn't be your original chips. Those would be forever lost. The higher your accomplishments become, the more chips you'll have. Then, because you worry about how much you've gained, you'll lose the courage to gamble anymore. As a result, you'll slowly find your chips slipping out of your grasp while you stay hesitant on what to do. So if you want to win more, you have to maintain the heart of a barefoot gambler. You have to be able to take out your chips to gamble, because only this attitude will allow you to keep more chips. Mo Yi looked at Mo Nian. Grandfather, I understand, said Mo Nian. Your life is your own. You can bet it as you want to. The heavenly deos are emotionless. There are countless deos. There are many types of gambles, many types of games. You shouldn't care whether or not you will be the final winner or loser. What you should cherish are the emotions that you feel while you gamble. He that's what's truly stimulating. Mo Yi laughed and seemed as if he had become many years younger. His eyes shone like an obsessive gambler who had held back for millennia and finally had a chance to gamble. Ten years I wandered with my bow, my arrows causing heaven and earth to shake. The nine heavens, ten lands, and all the universe will revolve around me. Only I, Mo Nian, will rise to glory. He, the battle today will mark the day that I, Mo Nian, begin my rise, exclaimed Mo Nian high-spiritedly. Obviously, in this particular situation, Mo Yi's words had been exceptionally stirring to Mo Nian. 
they had allowed him to clearly see his path forward. If even Moe, the leader of the huge existence known as Mogate, could keep the mindset of a barefoot gambler when facing all predicaments, then in comparison, Mo Nian's worries were as groundless as being worried the sky would fall. Old man, you really are wise, praised Long Chen. He, I'm not wise at all. Our Mo family has countless ancestral teachings, but there is one kind of teaching that is not passed down. How to keep Mo Gate alive forever. Isn't that very curious? It was our Mo Gate's ancestors that were the truly wise ones. They were the ones who said to live freely, repaying kindness and enmity. Their goal was for us to maintain our core heart. As for whether or not Mo Gate can continue surviving, it is not something up to man. It is up to destiny. Whether or not Mo Gate's inheritance is cut off has nothing to do with us. What we need to do is to continue passing on the essence of the Mo family to our descendants. In the future, even if the Mo family is eradicated, we will still have the face to see our ancestors. But if we were to have our essence destroyed by this chaotic world in order to maintain our inheritance, then there would be no need for Mo Gate to exist. We'd have no way to face our ancestors. So Mo Nian, remember, maintaining the inheritance of Mo Gate isn't important. What's important is that even if you have only one breath left to you, you still have to use that breath to show your spine, said Mo Yi. Mo Yi had only just finished speaking when a large mass of people appeared ahead. They had arrived at the Scorched Earth Forest. The Scorched Earth Forest was south of King's House City. According to legend, a fire attribute divine beast had undergone nirvanic rebirth here in the immortal era, causing all the ground here to be scorched black. But what was inconceivable was that this scorched ground possessed limitless life energy and had given birth to a flourishing forest. In front of the forest was an open space. Since ancient times, this area had been a sacred battleground for decisive battles near King's House City. Over countless years, many experts and powers would choose to have their decisive battles here, battles that determined life or death. Today, there were thousands of experts present. They were standing there, icily looking at Mo Yi's group. Long Chen examined them and his heart sank. There were over 2,000 Xi'anchen experts, several times what Mo Gate had. Of those experts, there were over 200 that were wearing violet robes, the Yun character embroidered on their chest. As for the remaining ones, their robes had the Lin character on them. There were two elders with extremely powerful auras at the front, and at the same time, Long Chen noticed another familiar person, Yin Wusheng. Yin Wusheng's expression was exceedingly gloomy, killing intent surging in his eyes. He stood at the front, glaring at Long Chen with hatred. Mo Yi, you were actually still alive, asked one of the elders at the front. Chapter 596 Killing Intent Soars into the Sky Translator Born to be that elder was tall, had white hair and a pair of eagle-like eyes. His aura was like the sea, giving people a feeling of boundless pressure. Seeing how icily this elder glared at Mo Yi and his tone, it seemed he was acquainted with him. Mo Yi narrowed his eyes upon seeing this elder, Lin Chendian. It really is a bit surprising that you're alive. Ah, that's right. With the Lin family acting as other people's dogs, the master will definitely pity the dog when it's injured and heal it. Looks like your master's treatment of you really is not bad. Congratulations on having such a master. Long Chen's heart shook. As expected, these two knew each other and it seemed they had once exchanged blows. It should have been Mo Yi who had been stronger though and heavily injured him. Now, for this Lin Chen Dian to have come back, he was definitely prepared. Lin Chen Dian sneered. Mo Yi, last time, all you managed to do was take advantage of an opening to just barely win. But this time, I've come to take your head. And not only will I take your head, but I'll also eradicate your Mo family. This world will no longer have an existence known as the Mo family. Ha ha ha. Good. How courageous. You really have improved. If you want to destroy my Mo family, you can come to try at any time. Of course, the precondition is that you have enough strength to do so, said Mo Yi. He then turned to the other elder standing beside Lin Chendian. What? Does your Yun family also want to join in? This elder was bald. He rubbed his shiny head lightly. It seemed as if the reason his head was so shiny was because he was in the habit of rubbing it like that. He... Our Yun family doesn't care the slightest bit about your Mo family. However, there's one thing your Mo family has done that is overboard, said the bald elder. Oh, that brute Long Chen obtained some kind of poisonous soil from somewhere and by using the Huaian auction house, he intentionally entrapped my Yun family. As a result, the bald elder suddenly waved his hand, and a pile of rotting wood appeared out of his spatial ring. As a result, my Yun family's meridian opening spirit cliff trees were all poisoned to death with not one of them surviving. 
Long Chen and Mai Yun family can no longer live under the same sky. If your Mo family dares harbor this criminal, then it seems we really do have to join in. Seeing this withered wood, even Mo Yi was shocked. The small branches had already rotted, and even the roots had decayed. All that remained was the main trunk. If this elder hadn't said this was a tree, no one would have been able to tell. They would have just assumed it to be a rotting log. Did you get so used to wiping your head that you not only managed to make your head so shiny, but you also wiped away your brains? Did you personally see me give that divine soil to the auction house? Do you have any proof? How could a big figure like you open his mouth and talk crap like this? Is this the style of you ancient families? Said Long Chen disdainfully. When it came to lying, perhaps there would only be a few people that could compare to Long Chen. It had clearly been done by him, but he could still righteously curse a person for accusing him. Long Chen trusted Chen Wenlong. He definitely wouldn't sell him out. The Yun family was definitely just making up an excuse. The death of all their trees was something completely within his expectations. No one was more aware than him about how terrifying that black soil was. At the same time, Long Chen now saw through some clues to see just what the Yun family was planning. Now that all their trees had died, they had lost the majority of their income. They had wanted to get compensation from the Huaian auction house, but they had stood on the side of reason and weren't afraid of them at all. It was impossible for them to get any benefits from the Huaian auction house, but no matter how strong a power was, without any income, they would decline. How were the experts of the Yun family supposed to cultivate without any resources? Although this was the cultivation world, not the secular world, it was still impossible to survive without money. The Mo family was extremely powerful in Qing Prefecture. They controlled a great deal of this prefecture's resources. The Yun family's target was those resources. If they worked together with Lin Chendian to destroy the Mo family, they would take over the Mo family's businesses. Although that wouldn't be as easy as when they had made money from selling Meridian Opening Spirit Cliff fruit, and it would also be less in profit, it was better than nothing. Falsely accusing Long Chen of having sold the divine soil was just an excuse. That was because just the enmity between Long Chen and Yun Wusheng was not enough for them to join in on such a huge battle. So they had to slander Long Chen. What they didn't know was that their slander was not wrong in the slightest, because this matter really had been done by him. HMPH. Quiddling has no use. We already have absolute proof it was you. Severing a person's livelihood is like killing their parents. Mo Yi, for you to protect Long Chen like this, you are clearly declaring war against my Yun family. What? Do you think my Yun family is a soft persimmon? Roared the bald elder. Following his roar, his aura also erupted, causing the void to shake and rumble. Long Chen was shocked. This elder was actually a true sea expansion expert. The Yun family truly had a powerful foundation. Ha ha ha. Interesting. Really interesting. Your Lin family is after my Mo family's top treasure, while your Yun family wants my Mo family's businesses. Why don't you just say it openly? There's no need to beat around the bush. Mo Yi laughed, his voice full of disdain. He truly was worthy of being an old monster that had lived for so many years. In just a moment, he saw through their intentions and why they had managed to cooperate. Well? Do you want a battle between the peak fighters, or a chaotic battle? It's up to you. My Mo family's men will accept either way, said Mo Yi. Seeing that Mo Yi still had this much confidence despite facing him and the bald elder, Lin Chen Dian couldn't help feeling less assured. He was just about to ask what the bald elder wanted to do when Yun Wusheng suddenly walked out. Long Chen, do you dare battle me? Yun Wusheng's aura exploded and locked down Long Chen. I see killing intent filling his eyes. It could be said that Yun Wusheng's hatred could not be washed away even with all the water in the world. Not only had his hatred seeped into his bones, but even into his soul. Outside the scorched earth forest, on the distant mountains, countless experts had long since found the high ground to watch from. Their photographic jades had long since been prepared. These experts were all focused on the battlefield. Seeing Yun Wusheng walk out, they smiled. Yun Wusheng had come for revenge. The death of his clone was a devastating blow to the true body. Not only had it severed his path of advancing to a rank 2 celestial, but it had also left a deep stain on his soul. If he didn't personally kill Long Chen, that stain could never be washed away. Then Yun Wusheng's cultivation path would very likely halt at his current level. Either he had to maintain his current cultivation base, or he had to risk being invaded by his heart devil when he attacked the Xi'anshan realm, and then he would very likely die. Celestials might be the favorites of heaven and earth, but the existence known as a heart devil was something outside forces were unable to remove. 
you had to rely on yourself. It could be said that if Yun Wusheng wanted to continue cultivating, he had to kill Long Chen. This was his only chance, and he had to do it personally. For a loser to ask me like this, it really is embarrassing. Long Chen shrugged helplessly as if he couldn't bear seeing Yun Wusheng embarrass himself again. This reply caused countless people to almost laugh. How would Yun Wusheng receive such a sharp reply? As expected, Yun Wusheng turned ashen, but he then icily said, HMPH, Long Chen, I trust that you'll receive this challenge. Your trust is useless. The main point is, why would I receive your challenge? You are no longer a match for me. The first time, you were at your current realm when you sent your clone chasing after me. But if it hadn't been for Yun King, you would have died. The second time, you were still in the same realm. While I had advanced to Meridian opening, your clone was killed by me. Now it's the third time, and you're still in the same realm, once more challenging me. Are you trying to get me to kill your true body? Asked Long Chen. Yun Wusheng's fists creaked and his body quivered. Long Chen was too arrogant. Long Chen, I've already said that you'll definitely accept this challenge. Just like last time, you'll definitely accept, said Yun Wusheng. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed as he thought of Mu Zhu. A bad feeling caused his heart to clench. Let me show you something. Yun Wusheng suddenly threw out a saber that was still in its scabbard. A phoenix had been carved into the scabbard, one that seemed to be in the midst of letting out a bird cry. Long Chen's eyes turned red, and killing intent erupted from him. He roared, Bastard, where is my father? This saber was his father's. Long Shiang Xiao's old saber had been broken by the white robed man back in the Battle of the Capital. Later, Long Shiang Xiao had gone to ask a craftsman to make him a new, identical saber. This carving on it was the mark of Phoenix Cry. Long Chen really hadn't expected Yun Wusheng to be this contemptible as to kidnap his father. It had to be known that the cultivation world's struggles were not permitted to interfere with the matters of the secular world. This was an iron law of the cultivation world. But seeing this saber, as well as Yun Wusheng's confident gaze, Long Chen's entire body trembled as boundless killing intent filled his heart. Hmm, what are you talking about? I just wanted to show this random saber and have you appraise it. How unexpected for you to get so excited over just some saber. I only just obtained it a while ago. Because its quality is so low, it's basically garbage, and I might feel like destroying it at any moment. Haha, <laughs> ah, sorry for getting sidetracked. Let's talk about our battle instead. Let me say it again. Do you dare battle me? Yin Wusheng felt incredibly pleased upon seeing Long Chen's current state. All right, I'll battle you. Long Chen tightly clenched his father's saber. Chapter 597 Divine Ring Shakes the Firmament Translator Born to be you can't Long Chen. That's his true body. The clone you killed before only had 50% of his strength. Mo Nian knew that the difference between a true body and a clone was immense. On the surface, it might seem like a clone possessed 50% of the strength of the true body, and so the true body's combat abilities would only be double of it. But in reality, the true body would be able to fight 10 such clones. That was because each increase in strength led to immense changes in combat strength. Such a thing could not be calculated by numbers, which was why Mo Nian hastily tried to talk him out of it. Long Chen, did he kidnap your family guest Mo Yi? Long Chen didn't reply. Putting away his father's saber, he walked out toward Yun Wusheng. Do you know, you really shouldn't have infuriated me. Because you did, I'll do something frightening. Ha ha ha. Frightening? Just how frightening? You're just a damnable ant that should have already died. You killed my clone. So today, you'll definitely die. He, and I'm not afraid to tell you that not only is your father in my hands, but even your mother. And of course, that little girl is also present. You know, your little sister really is not bad. She'll definitely grow up into quite the beauty. He, once you die, I'll help you to accompany her letting her be my slave. I'll take your place to suddenly. Long Chen's hand viciously slapped across Yun Wusheng's face. That terrifying strength practically caused space to explode. Originally, Yun Wusheng had just been quietly communicating with Long Chen, and in doing so, he had walked closer so that their words could be more private. As a result, this slap across his face was truly quick. No one had expected Long Chen to suddenly attack and send Yun Wusheng flying. He had already leaped after him as well. Die. A blood red saber appeared in Long Chen's hand. A blood-colored key wave filled the sky, and endless killing intent boiled. His saber came slashing down on Yun Wusheng. Cry of the heavenly deos. Heaven and earth shook as countless runes appeared in the air around Yun Wusheng, forming a sea-like defense. Break. 
Yun Wusheng's sword slashed out, and the runes in the air actually gathered onto the sword. Boom. That runic sword smashed apart Long Chen's saber image, and without pausing, it continued toward Long Chen. Long Chen hastily raised his saber to block, but his body shook intensely and the ground beneath his feet shattered. He was sent flying straight back. His true body is so much stronger than his clone. Mo Nian was shocked by this power. Yin Wusheng was surrounded by runes as he stood there with his sword in his hand. He appeared like an emperor looking down on others. Icily arrogant. His clone's heavenly Dao runes had only been able to fill an area of a mile around him, but his true body's runes had increased this range by ten times. Furthermore, those runes were constantly revolving around his body as if they were alive, constantly absorbing the energy of heaven and earth for him. This Yun Wusheng really is terrifying. Although I'm also a celestial, I probably wouldn't be able to last more than a hundred exchanges with him, said Liu Zongying. Although such words were a bit embarrassing to say, it was the truth. Yin Wusheng's true body was too strong, so strong that it caused a person to despair. This grand manifestation was giving Yin Wusheng endless energy. Other than a true sea expansion expert, no one would be able to challenge him. Grandfather, maybe we should said Mo Nian. Divine ring. Suddenly, a furious row rang out through the sky. A powerful aura surged into the sky, and a pillar of light blew apart the black clouds from Yin Wusheng's manifestation. What? Yin Wusheng had brought forth heavenly fury with his manifestation which had covered the sky with black clouds. But this pillar of light pierced through the black clouds, and the clouds were rapidly forced back. The sky now appeared extremely bizarre. Above Yin Wusheng, the black clouds were still turbulently roiling. But above Long Chen, it was sunny. It was like two worlds were clashing, neither capable of suppressing the other. Just what battle skill is this? It is actually able to resist the heavenly deos. Even the manifestation of heaven's fury is being blown back. Seeing this scene, everyone was flabbergasted. This was heaven defying. Even Mo Yi, Lin Chengdian, and the bald elder were shocked. They had experienced many great battles. Thus, Long Chen and Yun Wusheng's strength weren't anything special to them. But the two of them had brought forth world-shaking manifestations. Yun Wusheng was a celestial. So for him to be able to draw out the power of heaven and earth was reasonable. But Long Chen was not a celestial. Using just his own strength, he was forcibly breaking the restrictions of heaven and earth, forcing back Yun Wusheng's manifestation. Despite having lived for countless years and being extremely experienced, their hearts pounded. Just what level of strength was this? As for the bald elder, he was also incomparably shocked at first, but it was soon replaced with a smile. However, this smile was extremely sinister. Long Chen's secrets, the secrets which allowed him to be this powerful would belong to his Yun family soon. Space was rumbling, and key waves surged out like furious waves. What? Terrifying strength. The Mo family's experts were actually not able to bear their auras and all retreated. The power surging out of Long Chen shocked them and also gave them an extreme sense of danger. If they were too close, they felt like their lives could be lost at any moment. A huge divine ring had appeared in the sky. This divine ring was split into three colors. The middle color was yellow and it was bordered by red and orange. The middle color was stationary, but the other two colors were rotating in opposite directions. Following their rotation, the world rumbled and changed color. Long Chen was standing in front of the divine ring, his clothes and black hair fluttering in the wind. With his blood red saber in his hand and furious killing intent pouring out of him, he seemed like a berserk god of death. Die. The ground beneath Long Chen's feet erupted. He had already shot forward like a bolt of lightning. Bloodrinker released a cry as its runes lit up, and a blood red saber image soared into the sky. This saber image was over a mile long, looking like a celestial blade that could cause even gods to shiver. It slashed down ruthlessly upon Yun Wusheng. Even the void was cut apart, and an unpleasant screech was emitted. Everyone's expressions changed. That wasn't just because of this saber's power or because of its aura, but because of the will contained in this saber. It had actually absorbed all the murderous aura within heaven and earth not leaving a single drop. This saber was influenced by Long Chen's will, and each person present felt a sense of death from it. What terrifying killing intent. Just how many people had Long Chen killed to condense such a terrifying level of killing intent? It had to be known that killing intent was something that would increase by absorbing the resentment of the person you killed. It was a kind of special aura that would condense within the bones. Once a person was infuriated, once they went berserk, that killing intent would be released. In other words, it would unleash endless resentment that would terrify most people. Seeing Long Chen's saber slashing toward him, 
Yin Wusheng roared and the heavenly Dao runes around him suddenly compressed, forming a strange image behind his back. That was the image of a huge ancient beast. At the same time, a mark lit up on his forehead. His aura crazily grew and a terrifying pressure shot out. He slashed his sword toward Long Chen's saber. Boom. The ground exploded. The black earth rippling like it was liquid. Both sides had to hastily defend against this wave of earth. This wave contained Long Chen and Yun Wusheng's power, and it had the power to shatter mountains. The Xianchen experts struck by this wave of earth were miserably blown back, shocked. Was this the strength of Celestials? It was truly terrifying. Rumble. Two weapons were currently clashing, their owners icily glaring at each other. They both roared, releasing their greatest strength. A blood-colored rune appeared on Yun Wusheng's forehead. He was actually igniting his ancestral blood to increase his power. The runes around him surged turbulently, and his power crashed down on Long Chen. Three-star battle armor. Long Chen cried out inside and the Feng Fu star, Aliyah star, and Life Fate star, which had been crazily circulating, suddenly paused. Light soared out of them, pouring toward the primal chaos beat in Long Chen's dantian. Boom. The ground shook intensely, and cracks covered it. They started off as small cracks, but they quickly grew to become several feet thick, revealing a bottomless abyss. Wah. What? Every person was struck dumb. Just what level of strength was this? Suddenly, Yin Wusheng vomited a mouthful of blood and was blown back. He then continuously coughed up more blood in the air, and even the ancestral mark on his forehead dimmed. How is that possible? The elder from the Yun family was appalled. Yin Wusheng was not only a rank one celestial, but the hopes of the entire family had also been placed on him. They had spent over 10,000 years worth of savings on him to make him into the greatest genius. But even now that his true body had descended, he was still unable to defa Turing Long Chen. That was something this bald elder was unable to accept. If this continued, it would be impossible for them to achieve their main goal, which was to have Yun Wusheng kill Long Chen to maintain his pure Dao heart. That was even more important than exterminating Mo Gate. But Yun Wusheng had to personally kill Long Chen. If others did it, that stain in Yun Wusheng's heart would never be washed away. What? Just as everyone was still completely shocked that Long Chen was able to force back Yun Wusheng, startled cries rang out. At some unknown point, Long Chen had appeared like a phantom in front of Yun Wusheng, his saber mercilessly slashing down. Blood splashed and the entire world turned still. Chapter 598 Great Battle Begins Translator Born to be a blood-colored ray pierced through the void, slicing Yun Wusheng's body in two. His blood filled the air, and time seemed to slow down. Whether it was the experts from the Mo family, the Lin family, the Yun family, or even those distant spectators, everyone was dumbfounded. They felt as if their hearts were no longer beating, as this scene was too shocking. The image of Yun Wusheng's body slowly splitting in two in midair was deeply imprinted in their minds. He was killed just like that. No one could believe it. From the start of the battle, not even an incense stick's worth of time had passed. His true body had been killed just like that? Long Chen's previous battle with Yun Wusheng had already shaken all of King Prefecture, and countless experts had gathered here and investigated what had happened from the start. Within the secret realm, Yun Wushuang had framed Long Chen, and later it was Long Chen who had managed to forcibly reverse the scales that had brought on the ire of the Yun family. The small details of what the Yun family had done in retaliation had all been found out now. In Long Chen's first battle with Yun Wusheng, although there was no proof, it was apparent from the words the two of them had spoken to each other that Long Chen had been much weaker than Yun Wusheng. It was only by taking advantage of his carelessness that Long Chen had managed to injure him and flee. Less than a month after that first battle, they'd had an even more shocking fight. In the end, Long Chen had managed to kill Yun Wusheng's clone. Although he had managed to kill the clone, everyone could tell that Long Chen had used his full strength to just barely bring about that result. As for this third battle, Yun Wusheng's true body had come. Originally, they had all thought that Long Chen would find it difficult to escape from Yun Wusheng's clutches. But now, that true body had lasted less than an incense stick's worth of time before being defeated. No one doubted how powerful Yun Wusheng was. The strength he had released caused all those Xianchen experts to be terrified. For him to be defeated so quickly, the only thing that could be said was that Long Chen was too abnormal. Just what kind of growth rate was this? Thinking of how arrogantly Yun Wusheng had challenged him, asking him if he dared to battle him, it was completely laughable and practically an insult to himself. Heavenly Dao Reco countless runes wrapped around Yun Wusheng, and the two parts of him instantly merged back. But in that instant, 
Long Chen's saber slashed out four consecutive times, severing all his limbs. He then reached out his hand to grab his throat. He couldn't kill him right now. He had to use Yun Wusheng as a hostage to find out the location of his parents. Fuck off. Suddenly, a suffocating force attacked him, causing Long Chen's scalp to turn numb. A sensation of death filled him, and he hastily retreated. A ray of light fell right beside Long Chen, cutting a long gorge in the ground. That gorge was only the width of a palm, but it was so deep that it was impossible to see the bottom. It was like a sharp blade had cut it. If Long Chen hadn't retreated so quickly, this ray of light would have slashed down on him. Even with his physical body, he still would have been cut in two. The person who had attacked was the bald elder from the Yun family. Runes covered his hands, making his hands as sharp as blades. You shameless old bastard. A furious row rang out as Mo Yi suddenly charged out like a phantom, his fist instantly reaching the bald man. Mo Yi was infuriated. He hadn't expected this baldy to be so shameless, ignoring his status as a sea expansion expert to sneak attack a junior. Countless runes lit up over Mo Yi's body. He seemed like a furious battle god, his fist causing the void to rumble. Old fellow, do you really think I'm afraid of you? Sneered the bald elder. Bang. Space violently shook and it was like the entire world was being fried. Some people directly vomited blood from the spatial vibrations. Scram! Moe roared, and the bald elder's expression suddenly changed. He felt a mountain toppling force attack him, and the ground beneath his feet exploded as he was knocked into the air. A pair of huge, black wings suddenly appeared on Moe's back, looking just like real wings. Those wings were actually created by countless black runes. As soon as they appeared, Moe's aura erupted. Runic wings were a specific mark of the sea expansion realm. Once you entered the sea expansion realm, you could nourish your own core runes. Such runes could be transmitted to your descendants through your bloodline. So it was another kind of bloodline energy and an exceptionally strong one. Once sea expansion experts called out their runic wings, they could release their greatest strength, drawing on the power of heaven and earth. Although the Xi'anchen realm was also said to be capable of connecting with the power of heaven and earth. There was a qualitative difference between the two. Xi'anchen experts were amateurs at using the energy of heaven and earth, while sea expansion experts were masters. It could be said that the Xi'anchen realm was just a starting point for a person to adapt to heaven and earth's energy, but the sea expansion realm was the point at which a person could use that energy as they pleased. The wings behind Mo Yi's body shook, and he was like a bolt of black lightning as he flew into the air, once more punching that elder. The bald elder's expression changed and he furiously roared, a pair of wings also appearing on his back as he punched out. Boom. The void erupted as a terrifying force spread in all directions, a blinding light dazzling people's eyes. A terrifying pressure spread and the experts on the ground were all blown away by terrifying astral winds. Long Chen did his best to resist, but he was still blown back several miles before stabilizing. This is the power of the sea expansion realm? Truly powerful. Long Chen was amazed. This was his first time truly seeing sea expansion experts fighting. The strength contained in just the wave of their hands could destroy mountains. That exchange had occurred in the air just now. If it had occurred on the ground, then perhaps everyone would have been buried by the ground from the aftershock. Mo Yi, curb your arrogance. Seeing that the bald elder was repeatedly forced back by Mo Yi's ferocious attacks, Lin Chen Dian couldn't help being horrified. Mo Yi was much more terrifying than in his youth making Lin Chen Dian decide to also join the battle. HMPH, a group of shameless things, trash that only knows how to bully the weak. Do you think that I, Mo Yi, am afraid of you? Mo Yi's furious roar shook the heavens, and his white hair danced in the air. Light shone from his eyes as his aura continued to climb, battle intent soaring off him. How was he an old man? He seemed more like a bloodthirsty battle god that had finally been revived. Boom. Even fighting one against two. Mo Yi's punch managed to send the two of them flying. The void rumbled intensely, and runes filled the air. It was incredibly horrifying. When sea expansion experts released their full power, that power could crush mountains and overturn seas. The three of them continued to fly higher into the sky, creating more distance from the ground. Obviously, both sides were worried that their aftershocks could kill their own people. The three of them flew high into the sky, appearing like three black dots continuously colliding. Although they were now incredibly far up, each time they collided, a terrifying pressure would crash onto the ground, making it hard for the people to breathe. This was the gap between realms. Sea expansion experts had already completely comprehended how to use natural energy, 
with their core runes absorbing that energy to use as their own. That power was practically apocalyptic. That was also why Meridian opening Celestials could dominate the Xi'anchen realm but were unable to jump across the chasm known as the Sea Expansion Realm. Just like Celestials, Sea Expansion experts could also control Heaven and Earth's energy. Although it wouldn't be as monstrous as the cry of the Heavenly Deos, a Rank 1 Celestial was unable to suppress the power of a Sea Expansion expert's core runes. If you were to compare a Celestial to a dagger, then a Sea Expansion expert could be likened to a forest. Although the dagger was sharp, its range was too short. A single dagger could not possibly cut down a huge forest in a short amount of time. But a forest's trees could gather together, using quantity to suppress quality, crushing that dagger. Once those three were far away from the rest of them, Mo Yunchen waved his hand, kill them all. The Mo family's experts all released their auras. Countless pillars of light soared into the sky, and bows appeared in their hands. Attack. Kill these degenerates from the Mo family the experts from the other side also roared furiously, charging forward, killing intent sword into the sky, arrows exploded, weapons clashed, and bloodthirsty roars rang out, this was a truly world-shaking battle, all these Xi'anchen experts had released their full strength, doing their best to slaughter their enemies, dust filled the air, and a rain of blood dyed the ground red, all of you can die, arrows rend the nine heavens, Mo Nian suddenly summoned the cry of the heavenly Deos causing heaven and earth to change color. Thousands of arrows poured out of his bow. Those were not true arrows but created from spiritual energy. This was one of the Mo family's strongest battle skills. Mo Yi had only taught it to Mo Nian after he had advanced to Meridian opening and became a celestial. These arrows flew into the midst of his enemies. They raised their weapons to defend, but they were horrified to see that each arrow had the same strength as a full-strength attack from a Xi'anchen expert. With this many arrows concentrated together, there was simply no way to block. Dozens of Xi'anchen experts were all turned into a bloody mist. Ha ha ha. Nice job son. Mo Yunchen was filled with delight. Mo Nian had finally begun to reveal his domineering side. All half step C expansion experts. Focus your attacks on Mo Nian and Long Chen. The others this person only managed to get half his orders out before a spear smashed toward him. He hastily tried to defend. But as a result. The spear smashed apart his weapon along with the upper half of his body. What? There's another celestial. The Lin family panicked as they hadn't expected the Mo family to actually have another terrifying celestial. That person was Liu Zongying. Heavenly Dao runes filled the air around her. And wherever her spear struck, no one was able to block it. She was like a fierce tigress hunting them down one by one. Within this chaotic battle, Long Chen shot straight for Yin Wusheng. Bastard. Release my family chapter 599 Continuous Self-Mutilation Translator Born to be with Long Chen charging straight at Yun Wusheng. A dozen of the Yun family's Xi'anchen experts immediately appeared in front of him. Yun Wusheng had only just used his heavenly Dao runes to paste his limbs back onto his body. No matter how heaven-defying a celestial was, it would take them a certain amount of time to fully heal from such an injury. Die. Long Chen seemed like a furious lion his saber shining with blood-red runes as he killed his way through them. His saber cut through those people's weapons as easily as cutting through corn. The dozen of them were instantly blown into a bloody mist. When that blood died his saber, Blood Drinker let out a loud cry as if its spirit was awakening. Long Chen sensed a powerful thirst of blood from it. But right now, he had no time to sense the change in Blood Drinker. He was focused completely on catching Yun Wusheng. Only once he caught him could he keep his parents alive. Protect the junior master. The Yun family's experts were all startled by how terrifying Long Chen was, and they all gathered to attack him. They refused to allow him to get near Yun Wusheng. Those who block me will die. Long Chen's eyes were scarlet, and his bloodthirsty saber swept through those in front of him. Blood and flesh flew everywhere. Long Chen was not paying attention, but while he killed those Xi'anchen experts, Blood Drinker was undergoing a transformation. Energy not visible to the naked eye was being drawn out of the blood and absorbed by it. As it absorbed that energy, its blood red color became even more brilliant. The saber in his hand is strange. Don't take it head a person was about to warn everyone not to block his saber head on when he was directly cut in two by Long Chen's saber. Blood drinker's color was becoming brighter and brighter, and it was so sharp that it cut through their weapons like they were just mud. Xi'anchen weapons were no stronger than paper in front of it. In just a few breaths time. Over 50 of the Yun family's experts were killed by Long Chen. They were not able to stop him at all. All of you get out of my way. Long Chen. Again. Yun Wusheng suddenly shouted. He had already recovered. 
and the sword in his hand let out a loud cry as it slashed toward Long Chen. Bang! Heaven and earth trembled intensely as Long Chen's saber met Yun Wusheng's sword. What? All the Yun family's experts' expressions changed. They were unable to believe their eyes. A large nick had been slashed into Yun Wusheng's sword. But that's an enchanted weapon. How is that possible? Yun Wusheng's sword was known as an enchanted weapon. These so-called enchanted items were used by sea expansion experts. They were so named due to the magical inscriptions carved onto them. Although Yun Wusheng was unable to use an enchanted weapon's true strength, such weapons were still made of incredibly sturdy material. The fact that his weapon was so heavily damaged now was appalling to the Yun family. Heaven and earth are boundless. Ancestral blood ignition. Yun Wusheng instantly aged a great deal, his skin becoming like old tree bark. He seemed like he had immediately become a 60-year-old senior. The power of his blood key rapidly declined, but at the same time, his strength multiplied explosively. All his energy poured into his weapon. Rumble. Heaven and earth trembled. Powerful key waves blew back all the Yun family's experts, and they vomited blood from the force. Heavens. This Yun Wusheng has really gone too far. He actually ignited his ancestral blood, ruining his bloodline energy. He's gone crazy. The distant spectators were all shocked. This was extremely harmful to himself. The instant Yun Wusheng ignited his ancestral blood, Long Chen felt like a mountain had crashed down on him. He frowned and his full strength erupted. The primal chaos bead rapidly circulated. The Feng Fu, Aliyah, and Life Fate Star's energy poured into it without reserve. Boom. The entire battlefield sank due to their power. Everyone was appalled. Even after Yun Wusheng had used this self-mutilating technique, he was still sent flying by Long Chen. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. Yun Wusheng was vomiting blood, but he still roared. Unable to accept this reality, protect the, the Yun family's experts hastily tried to move forward, but Long Chen didn't even give them a chance to speak. His saber slashed out in all directions. Dozens of the Yun family's experts didn't even have time to block with their weapons before being killed by Long Chen. Three stars revolved in Long Chen's eyes, and the three-colored divine ring behind him was constantly revolving. He seemed like a devil king who had descended upon the world to slaughter, filled with an imposingness that said he would kill whoever stood in front of him. This scene caused the remaining experts from the Yun family to tremble. These elite Xi'anshan experts were cut down like cabbages in front of Long Chen. He killed them with a wave of his hand, as easily as slaughtering pigs. Only now did Yun Wusheng recover from his shock. But then seeing the scene in front of him, he once more descended into madness. Seeing Long Chen was completely unrevealed, arrogantly looking down on all, seeming like he could slaughter even gods. Yun Wusheng roared, I'm the unrevealed one. No one can surpass me. Yun Wusheng, a crazy expression appeared on Yun Wusheng's face, and he took out a blood-colored medicinal pill. Junior Master, don't. One Yun family's expert let out horrified cries. Had their junior master gone crazy? Boom. That man had tried to stop Yun Wusheng, but he had been too late. Yun Wusheng had already swallowed the pill. A violent aura erupted from him, and the Yun family's experts who were too close were directly blown to bits by his aura. What? That seems to be the soul-devouring blood explosion pill. Yun Wusheng has definitely gone crazy. This pill can let Yun Wusheng's strength multiply for a short time, but forcibly overdrawing his strength like this is consuming his life energy. Correct. Igniting his ancestral blood wasn't too bad. As a celestial, he would most likely be able to cultivate his own bloodline energy. It would just require wasting a certain amount of time. But now that he has swallowed the soul-devouring blood explosion pill, his soul energy, physical energy, and bloodline energy will drop forever. Even if he kills Long Chen, Yin Wusheng will probably be crippled. The distant spectators were all prestigious people. Quite a few of them were old fellows that were extremely experienced. They couldn't help but shake their heads at Yun Wusheng's actions. He really had gone crazy Novaloon.com CMAHHH. After swallowing the soul-devouring blood explosion pill, Yun Wusheng became like a mad lion, raising his head and roaring. The space around him twisted as if he was burning the entire world, and his aura was terrifying to the peak. Long Chen, Yun Wusheng's eye seemed to spurt flames, and his killing intent locked onto Long Chen. Long Chen killed the last person in front of him. He then rested blood drinker on his shoulder, icily looking at Yun Wusheng. You really are an idiot. I, Long Chen, never provoked you. It was you who forced me to this point step by step. Today, you even shamelessly kidnapped my family in the secular world. Do you know? You've really angered me, said Long Chen. Angered you? 
What qualifications do you have to be angry? You are just an ant. You should never have resisted. Resisting is your wrong. Resisting means you should die. If you hadn't resisted at the beginning and had just obediently been killed, why would I have had to kidnap Muzu and kill those ants? If you hadn't resisted, why would I have to waste the energy to find your parents? These are all your mistakes. Now not only will you die, but your entire family will also die. This is the price an ant needs to pay for resisting, roared Yun Wusheng crazily. You fucker. Long Chen wasn't able to hold back any longer. His saber ferociously slashed at Yun Wusheng. Such idiots could only be killed. Die you fucking ant. Boom, 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 boom. The two of them seemed to have become madmen. There was no technique in their attacks. All they did was attack with their most vicious, full strength blows. Saber and sword images filled the air as their killing intent soared into the sky. The ground was covered with growing cracks that spread throughout the battlefield. Even the Mo and Lin family's experts were forced to move further away. Long Chen, I'm the junior master of an ancient family, a grand celestial who can look down on everyone else. You are just an ant who crawled out of the secular world. What do you have that could possibly compete with me? I am a celestial. The entire heavens are mine. Yin Wusheng became more and more furious as he fought. Just attacking was no longer able to express his anger, and he constantly roared crazily. A celestial? That's just because the dog sheet eyes of the heavens were blind. If you weren't a celestial, if you didn't have the support of the heavenly deos, I could kill you as easily as killing a chicken. But even if you have the support of the heavenly deos, so what? I, Long Chen, will sooner or later cut down these blindus heavens. Boom, boom, boom. Finally, Yin Wusheng was no longer able to endure. Blocking one of Long Chen's attacks, he was sent flying, vomiting blood. The effect of Yun Wusheng's soul-devouring blood explosion pill has reached its limit. His strength is starting to fade. He's lost. The spectators were all startled by this. Long Chen was truly heaven-defying. Even after repeatedly using self-mutilating attacks, Yun Wusheng had still lost. Long Chen's aura is also starting to decline. He should have also reached his limit. It really was a fierce battle of giants. Some of the experts sighed emotionally. It had been many years since they had even heard of such people. But now, of these two peerless heavenly geniuses, one had to fall. Boom. Yin Wusheng just barely blocked Long Chen's next attack. As a result, he tumbled back miserably, vomiting even more blood. Wusheng, don't keep fighting out of spite. Move on to the backup plan. Suddenly, a figure appeared in the air and crushed a talisman. A pillar of light instantly enveloped Long Chen. Chapter 600 Mo Mountain Seal Translator Born to be the person who had appeared out of nowhere was the Yun family sea expansion elder. The instant he crushed the talisman in his hand, a pillar of light enveloped Long Chen and he became unable to move. That pillar of light contained a bizarre spatial strength. You really are looking to die. A furious row rang out, and an arrow pierced out of the void at the elder. This arrow seemed like a meteorite containing boundless force. The elder's expression changed, and he hastily slashed out with his sword. He managed to destroy the arrow but he was also sent flying. Mo Yi's bow quickly shot another arrow toward Long Chen. Others might not be aware, but Mo Yi could tell this was a forceful teleportation talisman and an extremely high-grade one. Within that pillar of light, Long Chen was quickly wrapped around by spatial energy. An invisible spatial channel formed, wanting to send him away. These kinds of talismans had almost disappeared from the world. The technique to create them had already been lost. This talisman was definitely a priceless treasure the Yun family had hidden for countless years. They truly treated Long Chen as something they had to obtain. Having lost their meridian opening spirit cliff trees, they had essentially lost all their income. These trees could not be planted through their seeds. They had to be slowly grafted from roots, and the success rate was less than 1 in 10,000. With no further income, the Yun family had placed their sights on the Mo family's businesses as well as Long Chen's secrets. Originally, the plan was for Yun Wusheng to personally defeat Churing and capture Long Chen. That was the best case scenario. But the Yun family had thought that even if they captured Long Chen, the Mo family wouldn't just watch. They would crazily attack in order to save him. So they had already prepared this teleportation talisman. Yun Wusheng was actually also holding a teleportation talisman. Once he captured Long Chen, he was to immediately activate that talisman, making it so the Mo family was helpless. But the Yun family had never dreamed that Yun Wusheng would actually fail to defeat Long Chen even after going all out and using self-mutilating techniques to temporarily increase his strength. If this had continued, he would have been killed. 
The Yun family's elder had been helpless about it. The only thing he could do was waste this incredibly precious forceful teleportation talisman on a meridian opening rookie like Long Chen. It was precisely because Mo Yi saw through this that he was incomparably furious, wanting to shatter the teleportation with his arrow. But this teleportation talisman contained boundless spatial strength, and when his arrow pierced through the light, it merely caused the talisman to tremble for a moment. Space twisted, and the light faded along with Long Chen. The Mo family's expert's heart sank. Long Chen, just wait. I'll definitely tear you apart piece by piece. Yun Wusheng also crushed an ancient talisman, disappearing as well. Whether it was the experts from the Mo family or those distant spectators, everyone was shocked. Long Chen was doomed. That forceful teleportation talisman had definitely brought him to the ancestral land of the Yun family, let alone Long Chen. Even Mo Yi would be like a chicken in a cage once they activated their grand formation. Yun Wusheng's twisted expression as he teleported away gave all of them a chill. Perhaps even death would be an extremely luxurious thing to Long Chen now. Ahhh. I'll kill all of you bastards. Seeing Long Chen be forcibly taken away, and thinking of Long Chen's miserable fate upon being sent into the hands of the Yun family, Mo Nian immediately went crazy. He no longer held back in the slightest. The runes around him went berserk. His eyes were scarlet and his killing intent filled the air. A sky full of arrows crazily shot down on his enemies. The Lin and Yun family's experts at the front collapsed. Mo Nian was releasing an unprecedented power. He wanted to kill all of these people and then go save Long Chen. But that was impossible. These people were experts. Seeing how terrifying Mo Nian's attacks were, after dozens of them died, they quickly entered a defensive state, managing to block his attacks. Nian or, calm down, shouted Mo Yi, grabbing Mo Nian's shoulder. Stopping his furious barrage. How am I supposed to calm down? Long Chen was sent to the Yun family. With Yun Wusheng's character, he'll definitely make him live a life worse than death. You want me to calm down? Raged Mo Nian. Pow. Mo Yi slapped Mo Nian across the face, causing him to stagger back. How did my Mo family end up having an imbecile like you? Without thinking through everything, you want to blindly charge in? Do you think that's effective? That would just vainly waste your chance to save him. Your stupidity would not only have harmed your friend, but it would have ended up causing yourself to suffer for nothing. For now, just keep your damn mouth shut. Save your energy for when we go save Long Chen. At this point, the chaotic battle had already ended. During their clash, over 40 of the Mo family's experts had fallen. But on the other side, over 500 of their people had been killed. This was an extremely alarming casualty proportion. However, this was not favorable for the Mo family. If this continued, both sides would suffer heavy casualties. Even if the Mo family won, it would definitely be an extremely miserable battle. Furthermore, there were still two sea expansion experts on the other side. Once all their subordinates were killed, they would no longer have any misjivings. It was very likely that they would run amok and slaughter the members of the Mo family. Mo Yi, disband Mo Gate and hand over the Mo Mountain Seal. I can spare your life if you do so, said Lin Chengdian. The Mo family's members were startled. They had no idea what this Mo Mountain Seal was. You want the Mo Mountain Seal? All right, you can have it. Mo Yi smiled coldly and formed a hand seal in front of him. Novaloon.com boom. The ground suddenly shook intensely as if something was trying to dig its way out. Heavens, what is that? Suddenly, someone let out a shocked cry. Looking in the direction of King's House City, everyone saw an immense object flying over. It's a whole city. Heavens, isn't that Mo Gate? That huge object was actually a huge city. From a distance, it looked just like a huge stamp seal. It was completely square at the bottom, while at the top were the buildings of Mogate. Thinking of how all of Mogate had been one immense seal, people were terrified. The huge city released a powerful pressure that caused the Lin and Yun family's experts to turn pale. This, this, this is the Mo Mountain Seal. It's also what your master wanted. Unfortunately. You didn't even know what the Mo Mountain Seal was before sending yourselves to your deaths. Truly laughable, sneered Mo Yi. At this time, the Mo Mountain Seal had already appeared above Mo Yi's head. A cold light shone in his eyes. I have no time to say goodbye. Just die. Countless runes lit up from the bottom of the Mo Mountain Seal, forming millions of black arrows that shot straight toward Lin Chengdian and the Bald Elder. Run. Lin Chengdian's expression completely changed, and he fled without even thinking about it. He finally realized he had been used. Too late, sneered Mo Yi. Countless black lights shot out like bolts of lightning, engulfing his enemies. Boom. 
Wherever the black lights went, miserable screams would rise and fall. Those experts were instantly killed, filling the sky with blood. Even the ground beneath them disappeared to be replaced with a bottomless abyss. Two sea expansion experts and over 1,000 cyanchan experts were killed just like this in one move. The spectators all felt a chill as they looked from the Mo Mountain Seal in the air to the bottomless pit on the ground. The Mo family was too terrifying. Just what origin did they have to have such a terrifying treasure? They could kill sea expansion experts without wasting the slightest energy. Mo Nian was also dumbfounded. Even he hadn't known his family had been hiding such a powerful treasure. It was no wonder his grandfather was so confident. The Mo Mountain Seal landed on the ground, directly crushing a hole in the ground. Mo Gate was on the ground level again. Everyone get in the city. We're going to the Yun family's ancestral land to save Long Chen. Mo Yi waved his hand. Grandfather, wouldn't using transportation formations be faster? Asked Mo Nian. The Mo Mountain Seal was too enormous, and it didn't seem like it could travel quickly. It wasn't as if they could take their time right now. Fool. Do you take the Yun family to be idiots? Before starting this battle, they definitely broke all the transportation formations already. We won't be able to repair them fast enough. Furthermore, without the Mo Mountain Seal, what would we do by going over there? To watch as Long Chen is killed? And then be killed with him? When can you grow a brain? The Yun family is an ancient family, and they also have powerful treasures. Without the Mo Mountain Seal, we would just be sending ourselves to our deaths. But... There are no bots. Remember, if Martial Might can solve a problem, then definitely don't use smarts. But when Martial Might is unable to resolve things, you have to stay cool-headed. Long Chen has already entered desperate straits. If he dies, you have to be able to accept it. What you'll need to do is work hard on your cultivation to get strong enough to exterminate the Yun family as revenge for Long Chen. You can't just charge in like an idiot. At that time, you'll definitely die. And when you see Long Chen in the other world, He'll definitely curse you for being stupid. The two of you will be dead, but your enemies will still be living happily. Tell me, is that idiotic or not? After he finished scolding Mo Nian, Mo Yi controlled the Mo Mountain Seal. It began flying to the west, quickly disappearing across the horizon. At this time, countless people surged out like the tide, going over to the bottomless abyss. They wanted to personally experience the terror of that attack.